Hello, hello. Are we ready for the EU watch party, guys? Can't wait, can't wait. It's about to go down in three minutes. Ooh la la. It's happening, boys. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let me uh turn on the boom. Okay, it works. I haven't used a green screen in a while, but it works. It works. Okay, okay. Hello. How are we doing today? Hello, Kara. Hello, Jose. Hello, hello. No, this one is the wrong one. Okay, this one also work. We looking good, chat. We looking good. And uh, whenever it doesn't happen, we go back to here. Hello, bro. My my Asian <laughs> facial hair is like bad. The situation is bad down there. Hit the like button. Thank you. I appreciate that. Who do you guys vote for? Who did you guys vote for? I can't wait to see the Daddy Timbo murder the entire cup with his weird draft. That would be absolutely amazing. Dude, I got like some hair situation going on, okay? Like tiny, tiny facial hair. So I'm going to the barber tomorrow. So I didn't want to shave because I can ask them to shave for me in a special way. And it's kind of weird if I shave before that. So I'm just going to let them do it. That's why I've been saving up my beard for a great shave. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I like it. It's like nothing, it really. Please greet my daughter. She's watching. Her name is Katniss. Katniss like Katniss Everdeen. Why is your daughter watching me? Why is your daughter playing summoners for? <laughs> you should not be letting her play summoners for. Okay? She should go nowhere near this game. They give you nothing but depression. Hi, I'm Katniss. Oh, really? <laughs> Hello? What do you play summoners for? Huh? Do you know it's a bad thing? Oh my. We lost. Hello, Nico. Thank you, Nico. I free oh my oh my. We are dying. You don't play it? Good. Alright. That's important. Tell your dad to stop playing it. So that she he can buy you a, a nice dinner instead of spending money on PNG, okay? <laughs> Alright, it's starting soon, guy. It is starting soon. If you see your parents play summoners or that will explain a lot about their their rage every day. Why is my Varad feeling that much? When will I visit the Philippines? I asked a friend I have in Philippines, Lexico, you know, I use his account from time to time. I asked him, hey, should I come visit you? We know each other for like nine years, but I never I never met you before. He's like, nah, bro, don't come to the Philippines. It's shit. <laughs> why why is your own country what, what why is your own country, man? Dissing your your own country. That is kinda weird. I don't know when I'll go to the Philippines. Probably never. Alright, let me check out the... Oh my, look at that. Look at that production quality. I will not play the music, okay guys? Because I don't want to get copyright notice from Comptors. Because uh, they will probably buy some really good music for their production. And those music are usually not free for plebs like me. So if I turn on the sound, I will, I will not be a happy man. Wow, look at that! That looks that looks fun in Paris, 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 something like that, like a French would say. But there'll be no French in the chat today. 
Is there any French in the chat today? I don't think so. Look at them. Oh, I'm, I'm wearing the same outfit, guys. Yo, boys. Hey, I'm behind. I'm behind. <laughs> I'm wearing the same outfit, too. Sheesh. Okay. You're French? Oh, you didn't come to the event? <laughs> See, I even dress the same so I can feel like I belong. So I can feel like I belong. I wonder if anyone is in the audience that will come to our stream and be like, Sean, I'm sitting in the audience. You just saw me. Like the America Cup, there was one guy. <laughs> that, oh, is that Jiraiya? Oh my God, they got big French streamer to host the event. Wow, that's crazy. In, during the America Cup, there was one guy that just not, he, he didn't watch the event. With his eyes, he 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 watched through our stream. He was chatting constantly. That was kind of funny. Like, Sean, look, it's me on the screen right there. You saw me. The tickets probably too. I think I think it's not that expensive to to come and watch this. I I think so. Oh. It's getting hot. Oh my God! It's Daddy Marant and Daddy Knight. Oh my! So many. Familiar faces on the screen. So many casters. Why a lot of players quit, Sean? Have you watched me play RTA for like more than 10 minutes? I think a lot of people share the same sentiment. <laughs> uh, this guy is like, why do people quit playing Summoner? So I wonder why. All right, let me, let me try to hear what they are. <laughs> hold up, hold up. What are they shouting? Hope there's no crazy music going on over there. Okay. Wait. It's all French. Shazo! It's like a. Is, is it me or is it's two languages going on? The, Oh, it's actually two languages going on at the same time. <laughs> it's so confusing. Oh, it's both French and English at the same time. <laughs> he can't hear anything. <laughs> Why do they not mute the French? <laughs> Guys, I have, I have a great. Do, do I turn on the French stream instead? <laughs> Yeah, we saw some. We saw some great audience kind of like uh, placards. We saw some giant tutu heads on sticks here as well. Uh, kind of <laughs> trying to kind of get him as, as far and wide as reach as possible here. France really celebrating this player. Uh, but you guys at home, here's Why do they not mute one audio? Man? I just don't get it. Like, who's con who's controlling the audio of this stream? It is so confusing. <laughs> Open French stream with English subtitle. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Let me do that. This is way, this is way too confusing. Bro, this is clean. I have no idea what they're talking about, but it's good. <laughs> Ah, French. Music to my ear. French is not as French tech tone goes on. Oh my god. Le mal. Bonjour. Vous voulez coucher avec moi? Les femmes germaines. Moi, Meister. 
Banger. Banger. Son euh, blaze était un peu dur à dire au répète, mais c'est Nice Osmicer <rire> face à Anzelot qui vont enchaîner au match 2. Enchanté. On va avoir un autre type de gameplay. Hein. J'ai l'impression là-dessus. On m'a dit que Nice Osmicer, en plus, il nous régalait pas mal sur les pics, peut-être du pic exotique. Aujourd'hui, euh, je ne sais pas, suivi de Timbo Livert. A good thing about France is the train to Italy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so, the, the good thing about France is to get out of France. <laughs> Il est sûr. toujours là Et puis peut-être le match des titans, mesdames et messieurs, puis qu'on est tu 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 En dernier match I like how they don't have music. Oui, ça, ça va être fou Oh, le tu 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 Wait, someone said the English stream is better now. Hold up. Let me turn back the thing, the English. Oh, it's better now. They finally know what to do about it. I don't know why they, they need to have the French on. It, ha it adds nothing to the, to the thing. Timbo got 10%? Unbelievable. Dude, Timbo's gonna... Zero loss, okay? Timbo today, zero loss. 10% on Timbo. Unbelievers. Look at these non-believers, guys. How dare you? Wait, what if the people who sit near the other languages caster? Is that too noisy? You are hearing both English and French in real life. You can't turn down anything. That's the worst, right? If you sit near like the Shea Sizzle area, that'd be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't filter the audio at all. I mean that would be that would be something. I mean if if Tuju manages as the home favorite to go through to the next round, beating out the current uh, champion, that would be absolutely. But the audio is a little bit better now. A little bit better. It's going to be a crazy challenge for him, but it might work out. It might work out. Right, it's time to meet some of our players. A matchup's coming our way. The first up is Neff. Wait, Here wait. we go. Let's have a look and see what he's all about. I might have to hear the music. Yeah, yeah, ain't no way. Ain't... Oh, wait, what? what? Hold up. What is his stream? Wait, what language? Oh, it's Portuguese. Not allowed to, to, to be there, unfortunately. Unlucky, guys. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Nah, bro. What do they have to have so much music going on? See? That three second could get me a copyright notice. <laughs> it's just, it's not good. I need to keep talking when there's music going on so it will override the music, okay? Ain't no way I'm gonna let Tom to us copyright my stream. Let's go! I mean, Sam, what a guy. We've had a chance to catch up with him. He's such a lovely dude backstage, but I guess he has to really turn it on now and go into machine mode. Dude, finally an EU Cup where a lot of European, not like America Cup. <laughs> Right, guys? Like, EU Cup is true to EU player. They're, they all look European. <laughs> uh, debut. Oh, you know what? I want Neff to go through. Debut. I like that. No, I can restream, but uh, the stream will be demonetized, which is like, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I mean, he seems very composed to result, which I like about Because that. today, you know, I was supposed to go to um, a concert with my wife, but I found out that the concert date and this is on. Like, the concert is happening right now. So, uh, my wife is, go is going with her, her girlfriend, and I'm staying at home instead. She's enjoying the concert that I was also looking forward to. Now I'm at home. <laughs> Fuck. Hi. <sighs> Sad. What can I say? So if I'm at home streaming this, instead of going to a concert with my wife and this stream get demonetized, ain't no way that I'm gonna let that happen, bro. Ain't no way this stream we be monetized. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what did Lufia draft? I can't remember. I have no idea what these two player draft. What do they draft? I only know Timbo. Pink, Pink Roy draft like a true meta player. Uh, and then we have Livert, who is just himself. Yeah, 
So we bought a ticket to the concert, and uh, I realized that oh shit, it's on, it's on the same day. So I gave the ticket to my one of my wife's friend, so she accompanied my wife to the concert instead of me. So I'm staying at home with you guys instead of going out with my wife. <laughs> Uh, I hope during the game itself the audio will be better because I don't know why. Why why is it like kind of bad, right? It, it's kind of bad. Maybe if the audio during the game itself is not better, we, we will go to the French uh, stream. Okay, guys? Is that good? But uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be better during the actual game itself. It's, it's already kind of... Kind of mix. We are your side chick. Hello. Now Ben over. <laughs> Only way to make RTA worse is with French commentary. Wait, why? You don't even understand what's going on. It might as well be Chinese <laughs> or Japanese. Is there a Japanese stream? So it's like nighttime in Japan. It's all about fireworks here, and you guys are in for a ride. It's better because the MC is is not talking anymore. It's a right? best of five. The first quarter final here is ready to kick off. It's our pre bands phase. Yeah, it's better now. It's better. It's better as well, guys. It's over to Sam. Say Shizo. Let's do this thing. Best of five quarterfinals. Here we go. Here we go. It's a new year, a new Europe Cup, a guaranteed new qualifier. But one thing remains. It will be hands down the best opening. It's still kind of bad. <laughs> As we have Luffy versus Neff, we can have the Wake Jeff hear the we audio. have the Bella Preed band, we have a hand first pick by Luffy going into the Oliver and straight into the Hay Gang. As Yo, well, 20 hey Euro gang from Rudy, Rudy. thank We're you. Throw out quite a lot. All of these European players, they really All right, guys. Like you know what? It's, it's still mixed. It's still kind of still kind of bad. I'm gonna... Let's do this, okay? Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, guys. We're going for game one between Luffy and Neff, we are seeing a Bella and a Wedjap preband. Bella is uh, literally EU mascot at this point. And Wedjat is Wedjat, you know? <laughs> you have to preband Wedjat in this economy. We have an Oliver Hey Gang. Hey Gang is very good against strip into provoke of the cigar and also strip into defense break of the Vanessa. So that will block a lot of debuff from Lufia's side. And we have Vert and Kinky. So Kinky is there is probably to. Kinky kind of solo the first three unit of Lufia, so that's a pretty good draft. And Vert, potentially revenging the Cigar as well. And potentially a max rest Vert to kind of defend himself against defense break and stun. And then we have the Ongyoki for the big damage follow up after the defense break of Han and Vanessa potentially. And we have the Bovert to deal with... Huh? What is the Bovert there? There are no buffer on both teams. I'm not exactly sure about the Bover. It's probably going to be there to, to deal the first wave of damage. And I, I, I don't know. So then, oh, last pick is going to be a Dyna because Dyna is a very good unit to cut in between big damage dealer like Ongyoki to provide a shield for the team. And that will save the team a lot. And by providing the shield, you have a buff for Hey Gang to utilize. And that is pretty amazing as well. So... We have a Vanessa ban and we have the Oliver ban. So Neff will will have a pretty free-to-play friendly team over there. Wow, interesting. We're dealing with two LD5 on the other side. And the first turn belonged to the Han because Han went with the speed lead. So Han will go first, have the skill three available, going straight into Diana to do damage. So I think I think Bover is only here for that one that turn one damage, and that's pretty much it. And maybe that's gonna be useful. Who knows? Let's see. Here comes the Ongyoki moving next, going for the damage, and a Violent Pro as well, coming out from the Ongyoki to do even more damage on this Dyna. Dyna is in a lot of trouble, but because Dyna is low in HP, Bova can actually cannot actually do the thing on the Dyna unless he has five stack. So he went for the steal, didn't get the Violent Pro, probably out of Violent Bova, I think. Big strip from the Hey Gang, but no more buff on the side of Neff. And here comes the AoE coming out from Cigar, but. The revenge from Vert, the revenge from the Kinky, they were drafted for this particular reason. And this cigar is in a lot of trouble. And the glancing from Hey Gang is going to be very impactful on the Han as well. Big vial from the Kinky here. Big damage as well. 
take out a cigar. Glancing on the damage dealer, very important. Glancing will also sort of nerf the damage of the Ongyoki a, li a, a little bit. He doesn't really care about glancing anyway. Um, big damage on the Diana. Finish out the Diana right here. Here we go. And the, the Bova has that one big shot of damage coming his way. Coming from him. And that will be on... On the Kinky. Kinky is down half HP. On Yoki is extremely perf uh, effective against Kinky here. But is that going to be enough? Big damage. Oh, get the defense break. And that will allow this On Yoki to finish off the Kinky. Revenge on the Vert. But that is not going to mean much. And the biggest impact that Hagen can do is a Despair Stun. But you cannot stun the On Yoki. So Neff is definitely in a lot of trouble because he doesn't have any damage to deal with the Ongyoki anymore. No more defense break, no more real damage, and Ongyoki can heal himself. So there's really nothing Neff can do. I think game one will go the side of Lufia. GG. Okay, let's check out the audio to see if it's better. Right now, and Bert's most likely not gonna prop, and Ongyoki will get stunned, but that does not matter because it's the Ongyoki taking out I... that Verdil, taking that proc. Taking this match, confirming that kill, and a hey gang is a very strong. Alright, guys, do we go with uh no audio? It, it it's not like as fun without a game audio, but there's the the French audio in the background, you know? Weird one for us to see, but it's ended up working out. So chat, chat. Do we go with background audio from the stream or no background audio from the stream? Uh what do we go with? No mute. We mute. We all mute? Because the it's kind of annoying a little bit, right? It's... Oh, no? All right. It's like 100% no. <laughs> All right. I'll mute the, 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 the stream, okay? So we don't have... We have like random music. M not as good, but we would have to deal with random background noise, okay? All right. Round two between Lufia and Nev. Bro, why am I sweating? It's like 23 degrees. We have Ragdo and we have the Ongyoki free band. Ooh. So Lufia LD has Bella, Han, Ongyoki. Bro, Lufia LD are so aggressive. It's crazy. But oh, Nev steal the Han. Wow, I wish he can do that. Just steal the enemy LD5, you know? So simple. We have Lufia going for Oliver and Sekhmet. Going for that turn one reset. Nev rocking the Wedgeat as well. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my, we have Sagara for the strip reset. So Sagara is absolutely amazing, very popular unit. Because even if you don't have an AoE stripper, Sagara can at least guarantee you one unit being controlled. We have Lufia with the big damage from the Bella. But to guarantee turn one, he might need another high speed contest unit, stripper kind of thing, or defense breaker. What would it be from Lufia? Is he going to attempt to counter the enemy or... He's going to counter the control and the damage of Neff by using a light horse. Very interesting. But the light horse will add a layer of RNG for the team. So Han will have trouble trying to do consistent damage. But it's a 50-50 it's a thing. It may or may not happen. So Neff's going to go with a stripper and a healer. Very good mid-range unit for her. And true damage unit to ignore the horse um, passive. Oh, Lufia being affected by Nicer Smicer. Gonna draft the Smicer into his draft. And that's gonna be another damage dealer for Lufia. And Neff doesn't have any immunity, which means Nicer Smicer can really pop off in this game. So that, that is a very, very cool draft right there. All right, I think this music is a little bit too laid back. Let me try to go for some different vibe here. Maybe this. Uh -huh, maybe. Okay, okay. We see the Han ban. We see the Oliver ban. So Neff will still get his turn one boost. Reset damage. I think uh, that's a wrong ban there for Lufia. But let's see what happened right there. If I'm Lufia, I'm probably going to ban the Wedge at. Here we go. First time belongs to the Wedgie Wedgie. As, as you should. And we have the strip from the Praha to prep for the Cigar. Perfectly done. Cigar going straight into the Bella. Get the attack bar. Get the cool cooldown tab as well and get a violent prop potentially going straight into the horse to get rid of the immunity gonna go straight into the bella instead gonna get rid of the bella because bella is the main damage dealer big damage coming out from the molong i got a reckless because i have the attack bar advantage but 
He went for the AoE for the, I guess, efficient damage going on over there. He didn't have to Reckless, but I would secure the kill. But right there, Bella is going to be in a lot of trouble. And I think he's saving the Reckless for the horse. Why is he not? He's going straight for nicer Smicer. Get the Smicer out of the way. And the horse will dodge the Provoke. But Lufia is in a lot of trouble because the Bella doesn't have the big damage skill. And the Bella is about to die very, very soon. And the horse healing is pretty horseshit. As you can see right there, look at that pathetic healing. The Bella is still very much going to die here. But if she Violent proc, she can get rid of one target. And that might be the Cigar who Violent proc quite a fair bit to get his skill back. Cigar is going to be the target. No Violent proc from the Bella. And more Violent proc coming out from the Praha. So the Bella is going to go down as well. Nef, get the turn one. Get all the control. Get all the damage you need to do. And Lufia got absolutely destroyed right there. And pretty much it. Bro, the horse is like 10% heal. Ain't no... Let me check. I'm checking in-game right now. The horse healing is... The horse is 15% healing. You can't even improve that with skill up. Oh my. That is like garbage. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... You can improve the healing of Peel Vanilla Cookie. And Shield as well. Bruh, anti-glancing is like, anti-crit is like lame. What do you mean glancing buff? It's, it's an anti-crit. Who, who care about crit in this economy? Okay? Maybe F3, you know? All these G3 player, they, they don't need crit to do damage. Alright? You need a shield. Pure vanilla can heal more than 15% because of the skill up. And it put up a fat shield. Alright? Like the anti, who cares about anti crit? Good against Nuka or Vert. Yeah, do you see? Do you see Neff care about that anti crit? <laughs> His Praha was popping off with the Molong damage. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse will step on your mom and all these ongyoki kinky nonsense. Anti crit is like, and it's, and you, an anti crit It's not even guaranteed to work, okay? It reduces the crit rate. Of the enemy. So they can still crit you. <laughs> Anti-crit need to literally block the crit. For it to be like. Like a good buff. It's like immunity. Block debuff. Anti-crit. Block crit. <laughs> can we just block the goddamn crit? <laughs> oh wow. Both sides going very free to play friendly. Luffy might pick up the segment and the Han here. Oh wait no more Han. So Segment and Bella, like the last game. Nef no longer have the Wedget. So this time he's going to go for the free-to-play speed lead here with the more Chung Pung. So let's see what Lufia decides to do here. Going to go for a Jamir. Zamir. Jamire. And the Bella for the damage. But he definitely needs some support right there. Nef can go for a fast win Robo right now and completely dominate Lufia. He can also go for an Ethna and another speed lead. But instead, go for a Rakuni. Very interesting. And a Ragdoll taking that bottom position for this game. Not sure why he's going to do that when he could outspeed. But anyway, taking the bottom position when you're facing a Bella and Ongyoki. I'm not sure about that. But here comes Lufia setting up his damage. What will it be? Will he pull out a Nerandum Nikki? Here comes the Ongyoki. And the Shizuka to pair with the Jamair. But... The debuff situation and buff on the field is rather uh, underwhelming. There are no great debuff except for defense break. And there are no great buff except for maybe speed buff from Rakuni. Not a fan of Shizuka last week right there. But still a decent last pick in this position here. Because there are no great Shizuka counter from the side of Nef. And that's going to be a Shizuka counter. So we're probably going to be seeing an Ongyoki ban. And we might have to see either a Rakuni or Cigar ban here. Because uh, Shizuka is the unit that bind the team together. Shizuka is going to be banned. Chung Pung is going to be banned. So Luffy will have to deal with a lot of provoke without any... Oh no. He needs to get a violent proc. Luffy is in a lot of trouble here. So Neff going in. Oh, Luffy getting the first turn with the Bella. Going to go for the big strip. Here we go. 
Big, big damage. No violent proc. Raccoonie with the help of Ragdoll is going to cut in between. Boosting the cigar, allowing the cigar to reset the Oliver. That's the fat. Oh, never mind. A lot of resistance refused to do so. Big AoE from the Moor. Get double stun on the unit that is already provoked. So that's not very impactful right there. So right now, Oliver is going to have a lot of opportunity to control the enemy team. Going to go into the cigar. Being on despair. That is the favorite Oliver eSport build. Despair Oliver. Because you get you want to get all the good RNG as much as you can. And usually Oliver is counter heavily in eSport environment because everyone know Oliver. So they always bring some sort of skill reset. So when you reset an Oliver, Oliver is kind of useless for a long time. So they, they build a spare so they can do something in the meantime, probably. And also when you push back the enemy attack bar and stun them and reset the cool time by two turn, it's a very, very fat control. Big stun coming out from Oliver once again. Back to back stun. On Gyoki having the attack break is going to be very bad. But he can still do some decent damage maybe. Big damage from On Gyoki doing some small healing as well. But Jemire is in a lot of trouble. He might die anytime now. Unless... Oh, Jemire is going to get provoked. No violent proc for Jemire as well. If Rakuni get a violent proc, it might be huge. But no violent proc for Rakuni. Attack break from the Moor is effectively reducing a lot of damage coming out from Lufia because additional damage from Lufia is not going to be as effective with the attack break going on over there. And all of the unit from Lufia side scale with attack as well. Despair Oliver coming round three. No Despair stun this time. Getting an extra turn with the attack for absorption. Can he get another Despair stun from somebody? And also, Despair Oliver can effectively control Rakuni as well, if that Despair happened. A big stun on the Cigar right there. A lot of people laugh at Despair Oliver. But, hey, if he's stunned, it's huge. It's really huge. So, here we go. Ragdoll gonna finish off the Dragon. Nope, gonna go for the kill, um, the damage onto the Bella, because the Rakuni can finish off the Dragon. More control coming out from the Oliver. Could not get the stun on the Rakuni, but here is the... Healing damage on the side of Lufia, trying to finish off that cigar, letting the Moor getting a turn right there. But that's not going to be an issue because the Moor doesn't have any skill available to him. So now Lufia is going to use his window to try to finish off the Moor as well. In a lot of trouble right there because Rakuni cannot heal fast enough. Rakdo is going to try to bring down. He will get the Bella. Oh, this game is going to be very close here because the more get the passive back, he will not die in the next turn. And Oliver can no longer control effectively anymore because Sagar is off the field. And all three units in front of him rely on their passive for the most part. And here's the moment where Ongyoki might turn the table. Might want to go for the AoE to get rid of the more and do some healing as well. Maybe, maybe. Going to go for the AoE right there. Big damage. Cannot. Cannot kill the Moor. That was so close. And the Moor is going to have to face the Oliver one more time. Oliver going straight into the pushback. On the Ragdoll instead, the Moor has the AoE. Big stun on the Oliver. That is a big stun. Because Oliver could have reset the Moor on the Rakuni. But now, the, the Oliver is in a lot of trouble. But remember, the biggest power of this Moor is this spare stun. But on Yoki is going to be benefiting from that and Ongyoki is really good against Ragdoll as well but at any moment the Ongyoki might kill no oh the big violin for Luffy save him right there oh my that is huge because right now Nef doesn't have a lot of big damage to deal with could not finish off the Oliver the worst RNG possible for Nef right there Luffy are getting the perfect RNG. Big despair stun as well on the Moor. And that attack bar gain for the Moor was completely meaningless. Oh my god. More AoE coming out from the Ongyoki. This time will not let the Moor survive. And that is GG. Oh my goodness. Ongyoki will do what everyone's wet dream is. Destroying Rakuni in the 1v1. Oh my god. GG. Lufia got the perfect RNG right there to get rid of that Ragdoll. Because that Ragdoll was in prime, if not defense, zone. My hair is also in... Need some violent block, to be honest.
Wow, wow, wow. That was crazy, guys. That was crazy. Okay, let me try to get some different music. I'm gonna do this. All right, round four between Nef and Lufia. This might be the last game between these two players. Lufia might finish off the game here by winning against Nef right now. Here comes the first pick, potentially Han stealing it away. No, gonna take the wedgie wedgie first for this game. Lufia doesn't have the Oliver first pick anymore, can potentially go for Vanessa Cigar. But he does have Han and Bella, so I don't think he needs to go for Vanessa right there. And he might have Dr. Boy as well, so he can go for something like um, Han Cigar potentially. He's gonna go for Vanessa Han first, securing two speed lead for his team as well. Nef also securing two speed lead for his team for the first turn advantage. He will go for the Chung Pung, follow up after the more. Lufia has the option to go for like a Hei Gang Cigar here. But he's really enjoying his Bella and Ongyoki, but no more Ongyoki this game. So might go for the Bella and a Cigar in this position to get that either big damage or big reset turn one and betting out the wedgie. So let's see what is going to be for Luffy. It's going to be Bella and what the fuck is that? Oh, that thing buff turn one. Oh, that thing is an attack bar. That thing is like a, a LD5 instead. Oh, wow. Oh, Lufia is aggressive here, showing off his LD5, going in with big daddy damage. And Neff's gonna go for that turn two position once again with the Ragu Ragurido. But he does need a Belio here. I hope he drafts an Abelio. He will go for the Kinky, knowing Lufia has Ongyoki last pick. Oh, wait, no more Ongyoki. I'm sorry about that. But he can go for many, many things that can stun like a Dark Robo, like. Uh, Ikaris to do true damage. There are many dark units in that last slot. Even an LD Nat 5, I don't know, in the last slot here for Lufia. And he needs to ban the wedge at and clean the first turn. Actually gonna go for the Smicer, banning the Chung Pung. So Lufia will probably lose turn one to the wedgie here. But Nev doesn't have big AoE follow up after the more. So he's definitely in some sort of trouble because he can strip, he can get turn one, but he doesn't really have anything unless he land quad despair stun. No despair stun coming out from the moor. So this Belag will have the opportunity to go for big damage. But who is it going to be on? It's going to be on the Ragdoll. Miss the strip on the Ragdoll. Big damage from the Kinky right there. And the Smicer couldn't strip the right unit, couldn't silence the right unit. But he does have a bomb available and that's going to be on the Kinky. Get the bomb and the stun, very important. Because Kinky is going to be a big defense breaker damage dealer for Nev. Defense break coming out from the Vanessa. It's going to be on the Ragdoll. Lufia is trying to get rid of the Ragdoll as soon as possible. Because the passive is very annoying for the Han and the Bella. Big damage from the Han. But the defense buff is keeping this Ragdoll alive. And Han's taking a fair bit of damage from the Reflection as well. Here comes big damage. Trying to finish and get another perfect Violent proc. For his damage dealer once again, with down Ragdoll, Nev is going to lose a ton of attack bar advantage and also a big damage dealer because Rhino the Kinky will potentially be controlled forever by bomb damage and Smicer. And the good thing about Smicer is that he doesn't need to touch anyone, so he's not going to trigger anything weird. And another Violent Proc for Luffy. Luffy is getting a ton of Violent Proc from the last game to this game here. So there's really nothing that Nev can do. He needs to get some lucky despair stun here. But the Han have every skill available going straight into the wedgie. And gonna get another additional turn that he didn't need. But he's gonna get it anyway. Big stun on the more as well. And I think that is GG. Because now he has the bomb to deal with the Kinky. He has stun. He has attack power. Oh, maybe. Oh, hello right there, Kinky. Maybe it's not over yet. Maybe it's not over yet. But the Bella is going to go for fat damage. And remember, Han can defense break that Kinky and, and Bella can one-shot. It's, it, it's very easy. It's not a problem. He doesn't even need to set up. He's just going straight in. And if Smicer get a Violent Proc, this game is instantly over. No Violent Proc for Smicer, but he doesn't really need any of that. And the damage from the Han will go into... Who is he going to go on? 
Is he gonna go for the more? He's gonna go for the kinky, and the kinky could not even revenge the Han skill one. This might be the sign of the end. Bomb coming up from Smicer once again, and it landed once again. And this might be GG. And that is GG. Lufia going in to the semi final. Well done. Many props for Lufia, to be honest. Many, many props. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, Nep is huge. God. So many, so many props. <laughs> oh my god. He got so many props, bro. Wow, wow, wow. That was round one, guys. That was round riggedy one. Let's check out the studio. All right, it's so annoying, guys. I'm so sorry. I can't deal with two audio at the same time. Back to good old me, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't deal with that audio. I'm sorry. <laughs> now the hand-to-hand... -hand Dude. Uh, do you guys watch the chess boxing for, from, from Ludwig? I watched it and it's so funny. Imagine. RTA boxing. <laughs> you lose to a violent proc. Go straight into the boxing set. And you're like... You fucker. Yeah. Eat this proc on me, you bitch. You know? <laughs> Bro, imagine RTA and boxing. One RTA match, one boxing round. <laughs> you lose an RTA, you'll be like, ah, oh, bitch, prop on me now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that is gonna be wow, bro. <laughs> that'd be so funny. Yeah, that, that'd be the best thing ever. <laughs> Versus Timbo, no. Th True, yeah? You see Timbo forearms? Bro. Timbo bicep goes hard. <laughs> oh my god. Thoughts on Jubago leaving YouTube? Uh, He's only leaving Summoners or he's not leaving YouTube. And uh, it's great. He's finally deciding to do what's best for him. And that is amazing. Nef will smoke them all. Wait, the ne Nef weight class is like too much for Lufia. That's not even possible. <laughs> you need you need to have like the weight class and the RTA rank matching. That's gonna be dude, I'm how do I how am I gonna fight hands a lot? Look at hands a lot. Bruh, he he's gonna murder me in like five seconds. Look at that. Men's built. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, he did the tap. Oh, he did the tap, guys. Saturday summon? No, bro. We do summon from time to time and you have 100 LDs. That's my minimum requirement. Because nobody want to watch summon. It's so boring. But if it's 100 LDs, it's fun. Hansel looks like he can cook and beat you at the same time. Bro, Hanzawa can beat me with like one hand and the other hand he's texting his wife. It'd be like, I'll, I'll grab the grocery, I'll be home for dinner or something. I'm gonna beat this Asian kid real quick. Is it possible to play pro RTA being free to play? No, of course not. <laughs> Is it like, can you be the president of the United States being Sean B? Of course not. It never happened. Broken hands a lot, bruh. He's gonna beat me up. He's a, he's ready to beat me up. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, Timbo kind of short. Timbo is a short king. Like Timbo is a special case in that whole lineup. Everyone is like huge, and then there's Timbo. <laughs> I think Timbo is my height, but everyone is like fucking two meters European with their with their gene, bro. That's just unfair. I heard if you're like. If you're like 170, seven, one, 180 centimeters tall, you're like short in, in Europe. Huh? Like, what the fuck? Bro, if you are like 175 centimeters tall in Asia, you'll be getting all the chicks because you're so tall. Yeah? You, you'll be like amazing. You're built to get chicks. 
but in in Europe, you'll be shot. <laughs> ah, so unfair, bro. So unfair. 180 in Europe is shot, motherf. <laughs> that's just unfair. That's just that's bro. I'm like one six, it's one sixty nine, and I'm like average in Asia. Real man style like one seventy five or something. How much is one seventy five in feet? That's like five foot eleven, I think. Five foot ten, I don't know. Some somewhere around there. Is it? I'm not too sure. English people are like two meters, and that's like average. That's just unfair. <laughs> Five ten, yeah, that's, that's somewhere around there. It's not even six feet, and that is like extra tall in Asia. All right, boys, we got Hans a lot. I think Hans a lot is the big black snake daddy, and a nicer smicer, aka penis <laughs> or pinus. But you you can't be you can't be using that name in SWC. Then Compton's not gonna be happy about that. So we have a big wait. He banned the big black snake. Yo, Smicer, what do you mean? What do you mean, Smicer? Unbelievable. All right, we're back to the normal draft. Okay, we're back to the normal draft. We got the Sagara first pick. I pick Sagara first all the time too. Such a great unit. And we have Vanessa from Smicer and Ethna for the turn one. Anzala can go for the turn two, but he's gonna go for the Han for the damage. But he can go Karno as oh Hanzala is also trying to get turn one. But he doesn't have a speed lead for that Asher just yet. So Smicer can still try to go for another speed lead like a Mora here on LD speed lead if he has one. But I think a Mora and a Wind Robo. Wait, he's actually going to switch it up. He's going to go for the Gyo to cut him between the Asher and the Han. That is kind of cool. But he need a fire unit here. That Oh, he's going to go for a water unit instead. And that's going to be Camilla who will not die easily to the Han because of the passive protection. And the healing that Camilla gave is also very nice. So Spicer is actually going to go for a mid-range team and not a first turn speed contest team. So Hanzo is going to actually commit to that turn one and trying to kill as far as he can oh it's gonna go for a healer and protection unit as well and that's gonna be last pick from hans a lot so that doman is gonna counter vanessa revive and doman is amazing against healer like camilla because of the true damage that she can do but doman biggest weakness is the 15 percent resistance that may happen and that will absolutely crush this unit ability if she miss. So there's a 50% chance that Hanzalot's gonna fail. And Smicer's gonna go for another attack bar gain cutter. And that's gonna be the good old Amduat free to play unit because I think he's Hall of Heroes. Free to play last pick coming out from Nicer Spicer here. So Amduat, even though is very underrated, has been showing up in SWC. First, being utilized by Jin Yao to great effect in the APAC region, cutting in between many different units and being an absolute piece of shit because he's so annoying. Because I'm to just cut in, and if he's lucky, he strip this person and slow you. And that is probably one of the worst thing to experience. But the chance for that to happen is also very small. That's why Amdad is not very popular and it's only reserved for the big balls kind of player. And that's gonna be a nicer smicer. All right, here we go, guys. Turn one belongs to the astronaut, but we have two cutter coming up with the uh, Gyo kind of cut in between. Oh my god, that Gyo must be extra fast to cut in between like that. Try to get that sneaky little dispatch stun on the Lima, but could not get it done. The thing about Lima buff is, is so many. So you did like Amduat will have a lot of problems trying to strip all of that, and that's going to be quite a problem for the Gyo as well. Could not get really anything done. Oh, get immunity from the cigar, though. Of all the things. Let, as you can see right there, Amduat get an AoE out and achieve absolutely nothing. And that Ethna is not going to do anything as well because she didn't get turn one. So she's going to go down very quickly to the hand damage here. So the Ethna is going to fall. And Smicer lost his biggest damage dealer and a defense breaker and a stripper as well. 
So now he now he will have to rely on the damage of the Camilla and the defense break from the Gio, which is quite hard to achieve when we have a Lima on the other on the other side here. So now without immunity, it's finally time for the Amduat and the Gio to shine big freeze on the Han. That's gonna keep the Han down for very long because that slow debuff is gonna be super effective because Gio and the Amda will be gaining attack for all the time, so it's going to be very hard to get out of that position. That Han is in deep trouble. Big AOB coming out from Amdot as well, but no extra stun coming out from the Amdot, and the Lima will get her skill back very, very soon, and I'm sure she will use it even with Karma on her face. So I think Smyster will have to try to kill something quickly, and that has to be the Han here. Going to go for the Han, trying to get the defense break, but could not get it done. If the Lima get the deep... No, Lima would not get the Violent proc here to save the Han. So the Han is still in a lot of trouble because everyone is trying to go for the kill on that Han. Both players are trying to eliminate the biggest damage dealer on the field on the enemy team pretty much immediately. But Smicer is struggling to do so while Hans a lot is halfway done with the Amdot here. A defense break on the, on the Amdot is going to be very effective if the Asher can utilize this moment. And let it spare stun. Seal coming out from the Gio. So first time we are seeing Seal today. And Asher is a swift unit, so that's pretty meaningless. <laughs> but the the Karma is going to potentially block the heal from the Asher. But I'm going to do it anyway because I need to kill. Oh, going to save it for later because Lima is having the position to buff as well. But is she going to do it? Hansel is thinking about it because it is quite a price to pay but he will pay the price in immediately because he need the buff and the healing as well and protection against the Amdot. Big damage on the Amdot, big stun as well. And with this amount of buff, the gear will have problems trying to strip all of that. So going straight into the Han, trying to get the immunity out of the way, trying to get the defense break, but could not get the defense break. Smicer is rather pissed that he could not get the defense break on this Han here, but the Han is still being controlled but the Anda will have to face the skill 3 of the Asher, and that's going to do a lot of damage as well. So I'm pretty sure the, the Anda is going to go down very, very soon here. Anda's going to go down, and the Lima getting another turn here. I think this is pretty much GG, because even if the Han go down right now, I'm pretty sure Han's a lot will still have enough damage to deal. Oh, triple debuff from one skill off the Gyo right there. The seal effect's going to block the Violent Pro out of stun of the Lima. So this seal is actually going to be very impactful and no Violent Prop from the Lima over there. But remember, this Zagara is going to do a lot of control work on the Camilla and the... Oh, that's a big Violent Prop for the Camilla right there. Potentially skill one. No, it's going to go for the skill two to make sure that she killed the Han. Big defense break on the Zagara as well because of the Karma earlier. It's going to block the cooldown of the, of the Lima quite a fair bit. So she can't get that skill back very, very soon. Cigar skill 2 available. Gonna go in, get the... Oh, but have to pay the price with the revenge coming out from... I mean, with the turn coming out from the Gyo. Can Camilla solo? I don't think so. Can Camilla solo? There is a healer. If there are no healer on the field, maybe. Oh, he could not get the freeze as well. This might be GG because Camilla, even though she's a very strong solo unit... But there are way too many target with two being healer on the enemy team. So there's really nothing Smicer could do. He tried. He tried. Not lucky enough. And Smicer was so mad that the camera turned off as well. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. Why, why are your RNG so good? Oh, my. Oh, my. Smicer. Nicer Smicer. Not looking too hot right now. We will be going to game two. Did I pick Smicer? Did I pick you, buddy? Who did I pick? I picked Timbo and somebody else. I picked Timbo. Oh, no. I picked Nicer Smicer. He's low. <laughs> no, that's only game one, though. It's still a long way to go. It is still a long way to go, guys. Because bro hit the dab. So he got the bad RNG. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to round two between Hanzalot and Nicer Smicer. 
we got the oh what is that is that a doman and we have a shizuka pre-band right there no more shizuka for nice smicer will we see smicer and salar showed up stealing the cigar away hands a lot gonna go for the han once again everybody in eu have han and bella of course han and chung pong oh chung pong is there to set up for the han as well that is a pretty good duo right there because Han also counter all the unit accounted Chung Pang, so that's a pretty good start. Spicer is gonna go for the counter play against the Chung Pang with the Hei Gang, but he might need either a speed lead or a fire unit here to complete his. It's gonna be a fire speed lead for Spicer. And Hansa is gonna go for a very strong healer and also a great counter to Stripper, and that's gonna be the. Oh my god, Hansa has all the LD5 for everything. He has Petter and he has a Ragnar as well. My goodness. Hans a lot. <laughs> he has every LD for every situation. He's going to go with double immunity. So Cigar will have a big, big issue trying to control both immunity unit here. So Smicer, you might need to go for raw damage here. Will you pick up a Sonia to try to kill something turn one? Sonia might be pretty fun. But let's see what Smicer decides to go. A Wind Robo is pretty good at his position as well. But does he have those unit rune up? It's going to go for a Damage Dealer and a Smicer. Ooh. But against Double Immunity, is Smicer a good pick for a nicer Smicer? Let's find out. We have Anti-Bomb Unit. Veramo is getting picked up here. And also Anti-Provoke because Smicer and Cigar share the same counterplay. So that is not a very good, good last pick for Smicer right there, to be honest. So let's see what's going to happen. It's probably going to be a Narsha ban, and it has to be a Veramos ban, because Veramos counter everything that Smicer is trying to do. So it's going to be a Narsha and Veramos ban here. Smicer will have to control two Cleanser with only Cigar, and that is not an easy task. And that is not even talking about the bad RNG that might happen with the strip and the reset. So I think Smicer have a very big task in front of him. Meanwhile, I'm trying to farm some R5. Alright guys, round two between Hanzalot and Smicer. And the Heigang getting the first turn with the speed lead, of course. But if you strip the Pater, he might get an attack bar and screw up your entire plan. He will go for the strip, get the Pater, but Pater with the balance patch allow him to get attack bar when he gets stripped, and that will fix everything right up. And here comes the secondary strip from here from the Vanessa with the defense right. Can he get it done? Here comes the Vanessa coming in with the big strip, get the strip done on the on the Han, and Cigar will need to follow up with another big strip, get the strip. Oh, but dude. It will be so perfect if Smicer strip and silence the Chung Pung, but that didn't happen because it's only 40% chance to strip. So he get the Lima, he get the Han. So Smicer is in a very good spot here because things that he wanted to happen, happen exactly the way he planned. Big stun on the Lima as well. That is huge. So now Han is in a lot of trouble here because he's eating all the damage from the side of Smicer. So I think Smicer is having the upper hand in this slot. Unless this Changpeng and Pater can turn everything around. Big stun on the Smicer so he can't get an attack bar. And also skill cooldown. And Changpeng going to reset everybody's skill as well. And here comes Smicer trying to bring that da do some damage on the Han. Here comes Pater for the Wild Blow. Big damage on the Vanessa as well. Turning back to the human form. Can get a Violent Pro. And he has cleansing next turn. And if he can't control this Pater, he will fix all the problems that Smicer did to hands a lot in the turn one so he need to get a provoke on this pater immediately and remember there's a lima that can potentially violent proc as well and that can be quite a problem so even though han might go down now it is not the end yet here comes cigar he needs to land a provoke on the pater because pater has cleanse and immunity going up right now here we go Oh my god! The silent! The silence land perfectly on Pater! You can't cleanse the silent because it's not an inability effect. 
the be- what is Meister doing? How did he get the perfect RNG? He's actually bringing this game back. He will provoke the Chumpa as well to get rid of. <laughs> you can't get everything, guys. You can't get everything. He got so much. Oh my god, another big silence onto the Lima and the bomb onto the Hague. Wow. But, but, there's always a but in Summoner's War. If that Patera get a Violent proc, or the Cigar get a Violent proc, which one? The coin flip is gonna happen? No Violent proc. If the Patera get a Violent proc, he's praying, he's praying. No Violent proc for Patera. It is not over yet. It is not, oh my god, big attack by pushback coming out from Smicer as well. And the Cigar can, can reset the Patera right now. And there will be no, no immunity. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's if he, he needs to get this reset right now on everybody. He needs to get it. He get the reset. He doesn't get the attack bar, but that's more than enough because there's no more cleansing and there'll be more mob. How does Smicer turn this game around? How this the two turn silence from the from the Smicer turn the game around for nicer Smicer? Oh my god. I can't believe it. Smicer with the perfectly timed silence on that Pertur changed everything. Holy moly. Smicer with the Smicer with the perfect. Wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nicer Smicer with the most perfect silence ever. Crazy. The RNG lined up perfectly with the despair stem for the Hay Gang as well. I can't believe it. And now he will lock down this Pater forever with the silence because Pater cannot get out of the silence to get his cleansing and damage back. And one more bomb. Hey, he, he, he doesn't need a bomb because he doesn't want to stun this unit, right? That is crazy, guy. That is crazy. Oh my god. It is over. Nicer Smicer. I can't believe it. What an absolute chat. GG. Dude, I don't know why, but when they show like the two player on that tiny stand, <laughs> it's kind of anticlimactic, you know? I, I, I wish they have like two separate booths for them. Like dumb sitting so close to one another is like, it's like, it's like two friends having, having a coffee and just playing some game in a coffee shop. Like, this is lo looking good, right? You got the energy, you got the rivalry, and then it showed up in the tiny stand. It's like, like, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> it's like two, two bro, just having a coffee, playing some game, you know? Wow, that was crazy, though. That was kind of crazy. Awesome. All right. No more, no more Salah pre ban Maybe hands is not going to play with Salah today. Cigar getting picked up. Cigar being the most dominating unit in summon as well. Who would have thought? No money for two big booths? Yeah, true. Can't even get good audio. <laughs> Can't even get good audio. How do you get booth? All right, here we go, guys. What is going to be the counter play from Smicer? It's going to be Rakuni getting first pick. Are we getting follow up with the mouse? Are we? Jamaya Rakuni, very ambiguous. Very ambiguous pick from Smicer. I'm not sure what he's going for here. Rakuni Jamaya, he's really, he's really dedicated to countering the cigar. So Hamza is gonna go for that turn one damage once again, and he does have the Lima and the Doman last pick here. Very effective against any form of defensive draft coming up from Smicer. So will Smicer counter? No, Spicer is going to go for the turn to position with the segment and the the uh, Gio. And all four units are countered by the Douglas getting last pick here from Hanzalot. So he knows that this Douglas has to be banned here. And he can ban Spicer last pick and he can pick whatever he wants. And that can be a strong fire unit. And it will be a Tomoe to spread the defense break coming out from Hanzalot. Not a fan of Tomoe though. I like a Carno right there, but eh, it's okay. It's okay. I think something like a Belenus could be insane, but nobody have a Belenus ready to go all the time. But some sort of AOE, big AOE fire would be pretty insane this slot here. Here we go. Snicer Smicer. Last pick. What is it going to be? He needs to survive. Hmm. 
Yo. Hey, hey. Bro, Hansel is not fun, man. Hans, look, look at Smicer. He's like, bro, why you do that? That's supposed to be the fun. You know, Shami's watching, right? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. What do you mean? Dude, don't. Bro, now it's a normal match. All right. Wait, where did a stun come from? Wait, who stunned? Who stunned the dragon? Is it the Tomoe that stunned the dragon? I think the Tomoe would stun the dragon, right? A big provoke coming out from the cigar. Get the attack bar off the segment as well. The dragon is definitely in trouble. Boom, a lot of debuff coming out from Tomoe. But Rakuni is going to cleanse quite a number of debuff right there. But remember, the damage is only coming now with the uh, Han and the Asher. And one unit instantly getting deleted with the defense break with the damage on Asher and the Han. And the next unit will probably be the dragon because the dragon is usually built with crit damage or crit rate. So it's easier to kill for these player. But the, unfortunately, Hanzalok will have to spend some time to try and control the enemy team here. So he can't kill the dragon just yet. But if the Han get a violent proc, this game is instantly over. Nope, not just yet. Not just yet. But this Gyo is definitely in a lot of trouble right there. Karma trying to Despair Stun the Dragon. Could not get it done. Big Despair Stun on the Cigar. Man, there's just really nothing that Smicer could do. He has no control. He has no damage. He has nothing. And the Han. The Han is an army on his own. He does damage, control, and he, he cycle his own cooldown. So Han is just a powerhouse of a unit. And that is JJ. Hands up, it's going to delete Smicer unit one by one. Perfectly calculated. And there's nothing that Smicer can do about it. And that is GG, boys. Hi. We could. I mean, if Smicer's going to lose, at least let him draft the win Frank. Come on, bro. I think I think drafting wise, Smicer draft too defensively in this round. He didn't really have a clear plan on how to really kill the enemy. Or, or control them or trying to... Yeah, there was no really clear plan on how to survive the damage. And his draft was so open to a Douglas last week right there. He has to ban it because he could have banned the Han. But then the Douglas just solo his entire team. So very unfortunate for Smicer in this round right there. We're going for game four. Remember, a skill one of Tomoe can stun as well. So Tomoe on the spare rune has many chance to stun you. And uh, even if the Jemaya gets to move, I don't think Spicer could really do anything. So I think it lost. He, he lost it during the drafting phase already. Nothing much he could do. We're moving to game four. Oh, wait. Sorry, wrong button. Okay, right button. How do you build a Douglas? You can start with Vampire, Attack with Damage, Attack. Zero speed, Vampire, whatever. Um, some people build Will, some people go Nemesis, some people go Blade. Doesn't really matter. You pick Douglas right, he's not going to be showed up in the match itself. Trying to get Attack with Damage, Attack, but focus on more having having more Attack than Crit Damage. And uh, Max Crit should be good. Alright guys, we are we are seeing Smicer pre ban and Salah pre ban no content for us unfortunately so let's see if we have any more fun content coming up from nice smicer what is it going to be hey gang to counter the chung Pong. vanessa it's pretty standard stuff here nothing too crazy pretty standard round one draft here but no more smicer i wonder what smicer is gonna pick in the last slot right there What will Hans a lot do in this position? He can draft the same thing, to be honest. I think he lost because he was unlucky. So he can probably do the same thing and he's probably going to be okay. Because Smicer draft is very... Um, it's very open to bad luck, you know? He needs everything to work perfectly to win. Meanwhile, Hans Lott, we only need Smicer to, to lose a little bit of RNG somewhere. And oh my! Dude, Smicer is ready for all the fun content. I like it. Look at them having some fun on the the war stage. And the win, I mean, Dark Robo getting picked up here. Perfectly drafted. So either it's going to be a speed lead or a hey gang ban. 
And I think with this Robo and Double Immunity, I think Heigang is going to defend here. Dude, Smyster has all the content. What a what a fun man to be around. <laughs> Amazing last pick here. Dude, so many LD5. There are more LD5 on the screen than normal unit, right? No, there are... I mean, Dark Robo is technically an LD5. Let's be real, right? There are more LD5 on the screen than normal unit. SBC. Free to play friendly. <laughs> All right, we have Han banned. We have Narsha banned. Both big damage dealer got banned out. So Hansa will get the immunity. But Smicer, if everything go perfectly, according to his draft, he will win once again. Let's see what happens. Oh my, the Dark Robo is very fast though. That Dark Robo is kind of fast. Might be on Swift too. Here we go. The same script happened. Pater get the immunity. Pater will cleanse. And... Hands up, we'll have to land all his strip if his team want to work. Let's see what happens. All right, big defense break. Follow up with Sagara. Need to get it on the Lima and the Dark Robo here. He can let the Chunk Punk stay, but let's see what happens. He needs to get it done. He needs to get this perfectly done. Here we go. See, I told you. <laughs> Fun is not allowed on the world stage. Okay, guys? He need to. He couldn't even get the stun. It's over. It's Smicer. Smicer, thank you. Okay, you drafted like you were making a YouTube video, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Smicer. It could have been an amazing draft for Smicer. It could have been a fun Van Cliff game, but if you watched me for like two days, you would know that fun is not allowed in Summoners War. And the moment you want to have fun, you get fucked. Like Smicer here. All right, guys. Hands along. We'll move on to the semifinal. And that is a Gigi. -gi. He tried. He tried. Fun stuff. Okay. Smicer. Good try, buddy. Good try. But there's really nothing you can do about it. Ah. <laughs> no fun allowed. Like, the draft of Spicer, he needs to get everything done. Like, literally everything. But Hansel will only need to wait for one fucked up from Spicer. One moment where he fumble a little bit. And, and he, will, he will instantly win. That's the problem with the draft. Alright, that is the second quarterfinal. It's Gigi. And Hansel is moving on to the next round, guys. Man, Smicer. Thank you, okay? You lost, but thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate the uh, the entertainment that you're trying to bring to the table. Dude, EU are, are so energetic about summoners. War. EU are the true masochists of summoners or community. They love it. <laughs> All right, we are going to the next quarterfinal very, very soon here. So stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, boys? Who won the first round? I can't remember. Which one? Was it like... Neff lost, right? Neff lost to uh, Lufia. Or Lufia won. Luffy! <laughs> the king of the pirates, he won. Recently, I, I caught up to uh, One Piece. I read 1,094 chapters. I read from chapter 1 once again. Whenever I read One Piece, I always read from chapter 1. I don't know why. But, uh, damn. So good. And now I wait for the next 6 months. I read One Piece every 6 months. And it's very enjoyable. Reading One Piece every week is... It's just so, so not fun. I hate reading One Piece every week. But every 6 months, you read One Piece, you caught up to another big arc and it's like wow incredible i love it dude one piece is like a history book at this point you know it's so old <laughs> i think one piece is older than me yeah 
Yeah, I reread from chapter one every time, and I always find new things because I don't read all the dialogue because it's like sometimes it's so many. Oh, it's Daddy Timbo! Look at how how short he is compared to Livert. But look at the forearm, bruh, bro. Timbo's done. Look at his eyes. It's like he's a he's trying. He's gonna kill you. Look at the Timbo eyes, bro. Bro, that dude. Look at the eye. Damn. Like, I want to hire him as my bodyguard. Bro, look at the bicep. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, Lexico, you need to ask Timbo. What is his arm workout? Not me, bro. <laughs> you see the bicep? Sheesh. That's crazy. His eyes, when he do the photo shoot, is like, Oh, fucking cool. I'm cool, little shit. <laughs> I don't worry about his phone. No, I'm worried about his opponent. Dude, imagine imagine like winning Timbo with good RNG. Can you go home? <laughs> Are you allowed to go home? Okay. <laughs> imagine you violent proc and you emote him in real life. Oh, you fucked. All right. When you play RT against Timbo in real life, you you can't you, you can't emote him. That's just you're asking for a death sentence right there. Daddy Livered. The most unique player in summoners for high rank. The man who spends five hours per day doing RTI. Dude, his wing takes so long. I swear. I do five wings in like almost an hour. It's crazy. His kill time is long because he's top 100. His match are long. Everything is long. He is long. Look at how, look at how long he is. <laughs> Oh god. Hello, Jay. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, we have a bodybuilder and a mad scientist. Let's go. This is breaking bad in real life. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happened here. Let's see what happened. I wonder what what Livert will cook. I mean, what Timber will cook. Because when you play against Livert, you can't play your usual team. You have everyone in top 100 probably has something to play against Livert. And I wonder what is that thing for, for Timbo. If you play a normal team, you're going to get absolutely crushed by, by Livert's team. That's how he climbed so high. Because he beat all the Metacoms. But if you want to beat Livert, you got to have that, that anti-Livert tech. So I wonder what's going to be. Dude, Smicer trying to make a YouTube video, man. He's just having fun. He's out there having a good time. Someone said Timbo is fighting young Snape. <laughs> That's kind of true. Timbo is just out there fighting teen version of Snape. Alright, let's go. What is going to be the pre ban If I'm fighting Leverett, I'll either pre ban Annabelle or Sekhmet. Yeah. Because even though as a turn 2 player, Leverett flicked Sekhmet all the time because Sekhmet put a lot of pressure on units like Chungfeng, Sagara, and Shizuka if the enemy is trying to use those units. So Sekhmet is very annoying. Even though, even though Sekhmet might miss, it is still very annoying. Oh, Timbo is going straight into Bruiser. That's so gonna go for Riley Bover, and Liver's gonna go with Liver Unit. So that's gonna be a lot of true damage, because normal damage doesn't work against Liver because he's so tanky. So you need to go with true damage like Molong Bover and whatever Timbo gonna go. Okay, Liver's gonna go anti Bruiser, and that's gonna be oh, that is literally stealing Timbo Unit. Good. Liver's adapting to the enemy draft because he didn't do so well in the qualifier because he draft his same unit. But now Liver is stealing the counter to his team and it's also a great counter to a bruiser draft. So Liver team is gonna right now is like shit against any more Chung Feng Cigar Wind Robo nonsense, but it is perfectly amazing against whatever Timbo's doing. Timbo's gonna go for double healer and an ignore defense unit. That can't be killed in the first turn. Very good draft right here. 
and his last pick can be a wind panda for example and you need to ban out the uh Icarus because of that defense buff can be amazing so let's see what liver is gonna do here it's gonna be oh wow i haven't seen him use that unit ever it's gonna be mouse to use all the buff coming out from temple and he need another healer to round up the draft and that's gonna be mouse getting picked up last and also mouse will not die easily to a fine cassandra what is her name by the way i can't remember so what is Timbo's last pick here? He need, I think a wind panda is actually not too bad at the last pick here. I wonder if he's gonna go with that. Something wind and a bruiser unit. So wind monkey, wind panda, Momo. I think they're all very good right now. If he he has those unit, it's gonna be a wind panda. See, I, Timbo's my dad, guys. I know all his draft. Okay. <laughs> wind panda getting picked up by Timbo, and I think he has to ban either Icarus or or Mouse. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. What is going to be the ban here? I think the ban will probably going to be on the Boverk and one of the Ekers. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be Fire Cassandra ban. It's going to be Annavale ban. So Timbo has perfect protection against debuff. I'm not too sure why he needs to ban the Annavale, to be honest. But he's going to let Liver has way too much damage. I think that is not a good ban for Timbo. And Liver ban one of Timbo damage. I think that's pretty standard. So decent ban right there. But uh, I think the Bovert with two buffer is really strong. But Livert might be able to one-shot that Bovert if he tam his damage correctly. Here we go, guys. We have Bovert coming in with the fat damage on... Ooh, the Molly cut in between. And that's going to take away some of the damage that the Bovert could do. The thing about Livert team is that it's really, really slow. So you can't really tell... How, how or why something's going to cut you in between. So big protection coming out from. But the problem with Timbo team is that there's no shield. So the true damage coming out from the Icarus and the Dominic might be enough to either take out Bover or the Wind Panda. So I think Wind Panda is going to go, oh, try, not going to buff, but going to go do some damage on the Dominic. But that didn't do anything. Big damage. Oh, the damage reduction, but big Violent Proc for the Dominic. That might be enough for the Icarus to finish off the Panda, maybe? Maybe enough. And that's GG. That's it. That's that's just GG. I, I knew he had to ban either Icarus or Dominic. He cannot let Liver get three damage to him because that, that is just like asking to, to lose a unit. So, he banned Annavelle. Meanwhile, Timbo has two AoE cleanser, two AoE immunity buffer, but he banned out the Annabelle. It's just, I, I, don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. So right now, Liver will only have to wait for the, the Icarus cooldown to go off and he can do the same thing. He doesn't have to do anything because Bovark will never do enough damage with the Molly on the field because Molly will heal whatever Bovark trying to do instantly so there's really nothing that timbo can do at this point and liver just has to wait until the uh the cooldown is off and and the combo will work exactly the same way and this time there's no reduction against the damage and uh that's gg yep really really not a fan of the band timbo really not a fan right there but uh next game can we uh can we can we not watch this? Timbo? Can we uh <laughs> can we uh can we go next? <laughs> Ay -ya. Can we go next? Bro, imagine liver drop a shake shake emote. She <laughs> Stalling for idea. Bruh, you don't have to do that. You can do that in the pre bands <laughs> What? Dude, the one thing I don't understand is stalling for idea. Bruh, you just do that in the pre band <laughs> I don't get it. Alright, can we get a, can we get a quick break?
Gotta get the my my trembling sandwich. Okay. I think Timbo has the idea. He just banned the wrong unit. If he banned Icarus, there was no way Dominic's gonna do enough damage on the panda. Ain't no way. That that Icarus probably have like 50k HP. It's gonna kill anything. <laughs> that Icarus is like obese. Okay? I'm pretty sure. Can you blow Timbo a kiss? Bro, I can blow something. Wait, what? What are you talking about? All right, let's go. Round two between Timbo and Liver. I think this time it's probably going to be the uh, the Annabelle pre ban. That is one of the hardest, well ruined unit from Liver's side. It's either Annabelle or Seimei. Seimei is going to be pre banned. The semi hard counter, Shizuka and Buffer. And Timber would like to keep his Buffer around. No, Liver unit are built around 120 speed. I'm not kidding. You'd be like, 120 speed? That's like Fighter 3 speed. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't understand it either. But. The entire box is built around 120 speed to 140 bonus speed. And everything else go to HP. And defense and resistance. <laughs> so a normal a normal team would destroy an Annabelle, for example, but then suddenly you cannot kill this Annabelle. This Annabelle go live to see your grandma or something like that. So his team is just ultra tanky and it works for him. Oh, Timbo with the Chandra and the Cigar. Let's go. And then he also steal Livered Kinky. Kinky is also one of Livered Prowl unit. He used all the time. So now Livered will probably go with Acroma and Leona if I know him well enough. But he might change something here. I don't know. Riley Acroma. Akroma's pretty good here. Yeah, Riley Akroma. All right. So, Timbo, will you take up the Bovert once again? Will you take up the Bovert? Or will you go with another CC unit? Let's see what happened here. He might go for like a Dominic Raccoon kind of thing, potentially. Maybe uh, yeah, some, some sort of bruiser damage, maybe like that and like Suiki. He, that's like a Timbo Raccoon. <laughs> that is Timbo Raccoon right there. And we have Mouse to do some true damage. Always good against the Akroma. We have Leo Force Ban here. Very good against Mouse. Very good against Slow Debuff. So that's going to be a Leo Force Ban for Timbo. So I think it's going to be a Leo Ban and the Healer Ban. So Liver can out sustain Timbo team. And. If that happened, I think uh, Timbo is going to lose again. Yep. It's going to be the healer ban. It's going to be the Leo ban. And Timbo team has zero healing. Meanwhile, Livert has two healer. One of them can't be reset. And a unit that's immune to all the debuff that Timbo can do. So this is really bad for Timbo. Really bad. Man, that segment is fast. And she get it. No, not even a reset. So right now, uh, if Liver get a good AoE defense break going, then that Akroma will absolutely collapse. Okay, big provoke on the Annabelle. So maybe no defense break just yet. But if I know a thing or two about Annabelle of Liver, it violent proc every single turn. No violent proc this time for the Annabelle. But because Timbo doesn't have any more reset for a long time and Sakma can also defense break, Liver is still in the lead here. And big immunity from the O'Reilly once again. Here we go. Big damage coming out from Akroma. Probably gonna save the skill too. Gonna use it on the Chandra, blocking any potential skill. Come out from the Chandra. Big defense break. No defense break, but it's okay. Because Annabelle is gonna take another turn soon. 
because you can't stop this unit from moving with any of the unit on the side of Timbo unless the Chandra let a lucky strip into a skill one stun but that is very unlikely with Chandra so nothing's gonna stop the NFL from moving NFL will get a quick AoE defense break here and if a Chroma get a violent proc this game is instantly over big defense break on the mouse the most important unit to get a defense break as well because that is Timbo's biggest damage dealer and here comes Sekhmet controlling Cigar once again taking away Cigar's skill gonna get the increased school time away from Cigar and here comes a Chroma damage it's gonna hit hard big damage and get a violent proc because it's Sliver <laughs> he, he's gonna get a violent proc somewhere and with the true damage unit down and Kinky being the main damage dealer, I think he's going to have a lot of problems trying to kill Livered Unit because there are two healers and Kinky will have a hard time trying to defense break these max res unit as well. So with the with the main threat, oh, that stun might be huge, but then the Riley is literally unstoppable at this point and a Chroma can keep putting the silence onto the Chandra as well and that will severely weaken the, the Chandra potential. And remember, Sekhmet will always lap the Cigar to keep the cool time reset on. So Cigar is literally useless almost the entire game. Only Chandra get a chance to do any skill whatsoever. But Chandra's skill is not too impactful compared to Cigar. And the Akroma can kind of just ignore whatever Chandra is doing and go straight for the kill. And he will save and get a Violent prop. Oh my god. I think that is pretty much GG. Without Healer, Fighting Livert is literally impossible because his team is so tanky and he always run double healing on his team. So having no healer on your team is just... Man, Timbo is not ready for Daddy Livert. Timbo is not ready for Daddy Livert. Oh my god. Dude, my, my prediction are both gone. <laughs> both my prediction are gone. <laughs> It's GG, guys. It's a gee gee. Wow. Liver completely shut down Timbo. Nothing he can do about it. I guess I'll be seeing Liver in Bangkok. Yep, that's GG. Rough, man. Rough. Oh, Bubba lost to this player. So, is that a bad thing about Timbo or a bad thing about Obabo? <laughs> oh, Bubba lost to this? So, what, is, what does it say? <laughs> Bro, anyone can lose to anyone in this rank. Don't be surprised. Anyone can beat anyone in this rank. It's a normal thing to lose. Timbo is such an amazing player too. I love Obaba too, but you are being cringe. But maybe this will be the epic comeback of all time. Let's see what happens. All right, round three between Timbo and Livered. What is it going to be? What is this music? What's so happy? All right, we are seeing first pick segment coming from Livered. Crazy, huh? Livered Drive is like, what, 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 huh? First pick segment? Who does that? Somehow in the uh, official SWC chat, there's so many Russian. I've never seen a Russian in the stream. Any Russian in my stream right now? Is, is Summoner so a, a big game in Russia? It's just so many. I think Russian in the official stream is crazy. All right, Timbo going back to the drawing board and going for the anti liver draft. That smiles on you and it worked against liver. But uh, not taking Dominic is quite a. Uh, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Stealing the Bover away. 
I think Timbo need to switch a little bit and go for a CC unit here. Like he can go for a uh, Changpeng more. Because Livert is not going with any heavy passive, cleanser, anti-stun, whatever nonsense. It is okay to switch it up right now. Go for like an AoE control unit. Is Timbo going to do it? I hope he switched up a little bit. Oh, that's good. That's that's a good one. That is a good one. I like that. I like that. Wow, so much fun going on here with Timbo. We got Dark Horse and Live Vampire. Interesting, interesting. So what's Liver gonna do? He need Oblivion, maybe? He might need Thessarian and Herney. But then Timbo has the immuni immunity last pick too. So that might not be a good idea. He's gonna go with what he do best. Molly and Icarus. He's he's gonna go for true damage unit. But that might be bad against the Dark Horse. Right now, Timbo can ban the Molly and go for an AoE CC unit. Will he do it? He can do it. Timbo can can go for that. Ban the Molly, go for an AoE strip stun unit because he can hope the segment doesn't land the reset. Will he do it? Or will he go for another? He go for the anti one shot. That's gonna be an Ela drill. That's a very good draft right there. Because if he built his build correctly with good artifact, that Ela drill will survive the Icarus and the Dominic. So I think the ban, the ban still have to go on the Icarus though. I think maybe the ban. Yeah, the, the Icarus is just too good, right? It's either the Icarus or the Dominic because the Dominic damage is too consistent. It's gonna be Icarus ban, it's gonna be Riley ban. So Liver take away the Bowverk usefulness by banning the Riley. So maybe that's not a bad good, not a good ban right there. Not exactly sure, but let's see what happened right here. Because Timbo now have Shield and Revive. Very good against what Liver is trying to do here. Let's see what happened. Here we go, big reset from the segment. Finally, the segment fail. Finally, so the segment will be the target, but segments are max res build. So the damage that Timbo trying to use would not have a good time trying to kill the segment here though. So this Illich is gonna stand strong and be the wall, the wall that Timbo need. No defense break. He need to shield up though. I would maybe shield up. I think the shield is gonna be important against Dominic. Because right now, if Dominic's lucky, he might go for the he might get the kill here. Oh, Liver is saving. He's waiting for the shield to pop up so he can do the five stack damage. Okay. I'm gonna heal right here to get the full HP. Here we go. I, I would not risk it. I would heal right now. Who knows? The reset might go. Oh, but he's he's scared of the bover. Because you buff, but he's gonna heal anyway. Get a quick little violent proc as well. So right now, Timbo is hoping for a defense break opening from the from the Suiki. And that will allow him to kill. But that opening is not going to be big because Suiki defense break chance is not exactly amazing. And Liberty might have max res on everything. So the Suiki might be in trouble here. If I'm Timbo, I'm going to try to defense break the Molly because you at least you ignore the glancing. And... With the attack bar situation going on right now, the only real target you can defense break and trying to have it on, maybe the Molly, potentially. But he's trying to kill the segment as soon as possible because the reset is too strong against the Elytro. Here we go, guys. Big... Oh, the steal happened! And the reset might land as well. This might be a big reset on the Elytro here. Or he can go for the defense break too. He's going to go for the Crush of Beautiful, get triple defense break. This might be bad because the defense break on the Elytra will allow the Dominic to do even more damage on his unit with the skill 2. Oh, he's going to go for the horse. He's trying to kill the horse. I mean, that's a good idea. We have Bovirk right there to heal back the reflect damage and set up the kill for Dominic later. So he need to stun Dominic right now. He need to stun the Dominic. He's too focused on the segment. I, I I think he's being he he he's close in on the segment, but the true terror that is coming is the Dominic and the Bover. The, the segment has done her job. You can ignore her now. Because you can't kill the segment fast enough. Can can he do it? 
Maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure. He, he's a bit too focused on the segment right now. Oh, this this Elijah is in trouble though. This Elijah is in a lot of trouble. Ah, ah, ah! Who needs defense break in this economy? Finally. Damn, it's not even dead yet. It's not even dead yet. It's so tanky. Oh my god. It is still alive, and it got the shield, and the mod is gonna cleanse that. It is still gonna be alive. Oh my, it's over. This Suki. This Suki need a good violent proc. It, it really need a good violent proc to kill anything. And it got the worst violent proc. He could have defense break into that, but then he chose to do that and then get a bad violent proc. He's in a lot of trouble. But remember, the light vampire can go absolutely bonkers right now and violent proc every single turn, and that can really turn the game around. Okay? Win with proc, live it without luck is nothing. Wow, that sounds like every sub and well player. Everyone win with proc. Why are you being cringe? <laughs> Literally everyone in this game win with procs. <laughs> Even you, you win with procs all the time. You are nothing. <laughs> oh my god, Lamau. All right, but anyway. Anyway, I think Timbo's in a lot of trouble here. He can't kill anyone fast enough. His defense break setup is kind of weird because of the attack bar situation. So, uh, there's really nothing that uh, he can do. Livered by his procs. Bro, the match is so long. He has to proc at some point. What are you talking about? <laughs> Man, these comments are so weird, bro. Why are you being cringe? But Timbo need that, that live vampire, man. Timbo need that live vampire to go absolutely crazy. He need it. Or maybe this is the moment. He, he has to go for it. Don't save it. Go for it, man. Just go for it. Don't bother save. Yes. All right. All right. All right. It's happening. Big damage. Big damage. Kill the Dominic. Kill the Dominic. Yes. Finally. Oh my god, finally he killed a Dominic. If he killed a Sackman, I would slam the table right now. He win. He win. It's okay. He win now. Nobody can kill the Vampire. Nobody. Nobody can kill the Vampire. Tim Timbo finally realized that Dominic is the, the true the true terror and not the Sackman. Oh, Timbo, thank you. <laughs> we are going to game four, boys. We are going to game four. If he if he killed Dominic in the first turn, he probably could have won like five minutes ago. <laughs> I, I, I he just need to look to to target a little bit better, and I think he he can get it. JJ. Oh, but I guess Timbo buy his light vampire. Fuck you, Timbo. You buy your light vampire, bro. You are nothing without your light. You get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. I, you know somebody would probably say that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Lamau. All right, GG. We're going to game four finally. Maybe this is going to be the biggest comeback of all time. Maybe this will be the biggest comeback. Bro, Timbo needs to get a get a quick uh quick set of bicep curl in, bro. Like, hey, pause, pause, get grab a dumbbell, you know? Yeah, you gotta pump now, baby. <laughs> oh, god, what is this piano music? Give me stress. All right, boys, let's go with the pre band. let get the segment out of the way. Get the segment out of the way. Come on. The segment is giving you so much trouble, buddy. The segment provoked Timbo in real life. Timbo got like a 10 turn provoke from the segment the entire time. <laughs> he keep going for the segment. Even though the segment already used her biggest skill.
Oh, he banned Icarus. Also good. Also good. Timbo get the first pick here. Don't go for the Chandra Cigar. It doesn't work against this player, okay? You can't beat Livert how you beat Obabo. Get the Riley. Get the Riley. Steal the Riley. Riley. Livert Riley is insanely rude. Steal it. Take the Riley away. And then Dominic. Don't go Cigar, man. Don't go Cigar. Don't. He has all the anti cigar unit. Don't go cigar. Good, good job, buddy. Good job. Steal the Dominic. Thank you. So Liver's probably gonna go for Acroma. Oh, uh, it's gonna go for Segment Annabelle. And then Riley Acroma. So you know what's coming. Take the Riley. Take Riley Suiki. Riley Bovert. Not bad. Not bad. So Liver can go for Gurkar and Acroma right now. And last week of Molly. Usually that happens. But then you can counter that with double immunity. Okay, if I know Livert, we might see a Chroma Gurkha. Or some sort of healer, a Chroma. Usually that's the way. Usually that's the way. A Kinky Leo. Oh, Kinky Leona. Interesting. Very interesting. So he, he still got the Molly last pick though. He still got the Molly last pick. You need defense break. What is it going to be? Good defense break and a healer. All right, all right. I like that. Good, good draft. Good draft. I like that. No, we need to go to the game five, bro. We need to go for some, some crazy game five. So what is Livert last pick here? Usually we go for Molly. He need a healer. He go Carlos. Wow. Huh. So I would ban... I would ban Carlos. That, that is a secret. I would ban Carlos. I don't mind any, everything from Livered right now because I have double immunity and cleansing. But that Carlos kind of sussy. It's either Carlos or Segment. Yeah, Segment's gonna go. That Carlos kind of sussy. Huh. So Timbo need to kill that Carlos immediately. And if he speed tune his unit well, he can do that. Oh, he's kind of slow. Can he move? I'm not sure about that Leona speed. He needs to kill that Carlos. Yes, good play. No attack buff for the for the Dominic though. That Carlos has 18 HP. Oh my god, that is tanky. That is tanky. Oh, that Dominic is dead, bro. Oh, why did the Riley is not speed tuned to Dominic? No. No, bro. That, that Dominic is dead. Unless he dodged the defense break. From the from the Kinky. And the Annabelle. Oh, that Dominic is dead, bro. Alright, GG Timbo. Thanks for contributing. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. If he. May Wait, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh, Timbo. Timbo busts a nut right there. Look at that. He busts a nut right there. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> oh, he busts a nut right there, bro. I saw that. I saw you bust a nut, bro. <laughs> Woo. Why did he not heal with Annabelle? He didn't need to. If he killed Dominic, he win the game instantly. You don't have to heal right there. <laughs> oh, he could wait. The heal because of the slow debuff. Oh my god, dude! He just need to kill Dominic, but he didn't get the defense break. Ah, oh, GG. We're going to a game five. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, dude! No, the defense break didn't even happen. There was no resistance. It just didn't happen. Oh my god. Dude, Tim was like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Sad how Carlos does so little damage. That Carlos has zero stack. It's built with 36 total K HP. Of course, it's not gonna do a lot of damage. It's, it's built to survive. Yeah, it's over now. Because uh, with all this immunity, Annabelle is pretty much useless. I mean, everything on Liver's team is pretty much useless right now against this amount of healing and immunity. Because he doesn't have, like, the 
the the quick damage. He has the slow damage, but the slow damage is pretty bad against two healer. So uh, that's pretty much it. A gigi. A gigi. That like Carlos could have killed with the defense break from the kinky, but he didn't. <laughs> he could have killed with the kinky defense break, but it didn't. Ah, oh, he was bad. We are going to game five. This might be the biggest comeback of all time. This might be the biggest comeback of all time. So that's that's pretty much it. Bro, why are people singing like outside my house, bro? Can you guys hear that? You guys I hope you guys don't hear that. They are like uh traditional music going on outside of my house. I think there's a funeral going on. Maybe. You guys can't hear that? Thank God. It's pretty loud. Good, good things uh, the microphone's not catching any of that. All right. Now we're going to the game five. This is the deciding match. Now I will not root for Team Bo anymore, okay? I will be a fair com commentator, spectator for the for the fifth match. I don't want to see Team Bo getting destroyed, okay? So I I, I hope he, he gets to game five and he gets to game five. Good Good job. Well done. Now we see what the, what happened. What do you mean choke? He got unlucky. <laughs> like Liver literally got unlucky. He could have won right there because the Dominic didn't have attack buff to finish off the Liv the the Carlos, but he he couldn't land the defense break on the Dominic. He just got unlucky. All right. Like, nobody choked. It's just unlucky. Round five. What is it going to be? If I am Timbo, I'm pre banning that that segment. And if I'm Livered, I'm pre banning that that Dominic. Leona curse. True. Leona suck. <laughs> Stop using Leona, Livered. Stop. Okay? Pick something else, bro. That shit's not going to work. All right, Annabelle and Aliyah pre-ban. Very interesting. Very interesting. Banning a healer because he couldn't deal with two. Livered first pick. If I'm Livered, I'm taking the Riley. Don't take the segment. Take the Riley. Timbo's not going to pick segment. Bro. Bro, you know he's not going to pick segment. Why you rush the segment? Timbo. Riley. Dominique, come on, come on, Timbo, come on. He gave you the unit, Riley Dominique. Please, Timbo, please. See, see, I see, I see it. All right, so Livert might go for Same to counter the Riley a little bit of uh, reducing the attack buff, and and Leona. It's either Leona or Kinky here for for Livert. So it's probably gonna go for, but then he know Timbo's not gonna go for debuff team, so he need to go with Icarus and and something. He steal the Bova. He take the, he taking the the Bova. Good play, good play. That's good. Okay, so Timbo have to play around the Bova here. He's gonna go for something that can't be kill. That's a good one though. That's a good one. I'll, I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that. I'll go for that and like um. The wind thingy that he used with the shield. I, I, oh, but that get countered by Bover. But he can ban Bover though. Camilla? Camilla sucks against Bover and Icarus. Timbo, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the horse good though. I like the horse, but I like the vampire more. What the... the Camilla? So Liver can go for he needs a healer, so Kinky Riley. A uh, Kinky uh, Molly. Kinky Molly. Veromos. The fuck is Veromos gonna do? That horse can just shield the entire game. Okay, Timbo, you need Oblivion. You need Oblivion. Oblivion? 
Oblivion. Oblivion? Is it Oblivion? He need attack power reduction though. He need attack power reduction in Oblivion. Herney? Herney. But he doesn't have Herney grown up. I don't think so. Cigar, cigar. Ban, ban Bova, pick cigar. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. You know what? I like that. Fast, Sonia, one shotting. But the problem is that Liver is the efficiency king. So he might be very tanky. He might not die. But that's good. That's good. So you need to ban. How the fuck you counter Icarus? You have to ban Bover. You have to ban Bover, right? Ban Bover and Liver need to ban the shield. Liver need to ban the shield. What the fuck is this ban, bro? All right, ban Sekhmet, ban Sonia. So Timbo will have to deal with a Bover. <laughs> oh my God. How are you going to deal with a Bover, bro? Bover's going to eat you up. But anyway, let's see. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. The problem with Timbo team is that he rely on sustain of the Riley and the uh, the horse. But Bova is a like straight counter to that. And and I'm I'm something's gonna shield, shield. You need the shield right now. Okay, okay. But then how how can the shield because Icarus and Bova can one shot a unit right now. And that might be Dominique. And the moment Dominique die, Liver doesn't have enough damage to kill anything. He's fucked. But I wonder if Liver target the true unit, the correct unit. He need to target the Dominique, right? Wait, why is he lagging? Oh, they're both lagging. Oh, he know. Oh, that Dominic's dead, bro. Ain't no way Dominic's gonna survive Icarus. That Icarus does more damage than my dad. When he left for the milk. Can he survive that? Oh no, it's lagging. No, the, they are lagging, not me, okay? They're lagging. You see the corner of Liver's screen is still moving, so they're lagging. Oh no, it's a dead Dominic. That thing's gonna do like 25k. Yep, it's dead. Oh, why did he not ban the Bover, bro? Eh? Wait, wait, wait. Eh? Wait, why is he alive? Wait, wait, why is he alive? Wait, what the fuck? He's alive. Wait, how did the... Wait, why is he alive? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? He's alive! <laughs> How did that Dominic a lot? What's this? <laughs> it's alive! What the fuck? Oh no, oh no, here we go. Oh, but the Kinky's on despair, so there's no violent proc that's happening. <laughs> How the fuck is the Dominic alive? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe it! How did that Dominic live? It live again! <laughs> oh my god! How did that Dominic survive? That's crazy! It will only die to a kinky violent prop, but his kinky is on despair. How is he gonna kill the Dominic? <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god, it's alive! He can stun though. He might stun. Oh, that's a big stun. That's a big stun. But the, the Camilla healing. Ah, oh, GG. Oh, no. He needs to kill the Bovrug somehow. Freeze. If he land the freeze, he win. Oh, max res. It's expected. He needs to kill either Bovrug or, or Icarus right now. Hey, no, 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 no. Liver is not done yet. Liver is not done yet because he cannot stop the Icarus from, from moving. So the Icarus will have to skill three back soon. It's, it's on max res violent build. So it's not going to go... And the Riley can't heal the, the Dominic with attack buff because of the Bover. So the Riley can only heal with skill 1. Oh! He did Grace cool tab! What the fuck? How, does that, what, <laughs> how the fuck did he land the increased cool tab? It's a max... Re, it's a, such a small percent to land the increased cool tab. How the fuck did he land the increased cool tab? Oh my god!
what, dude? Ain't no way he landed. that. <laughs> Even he didn't believe that he landed. that. What, is he gonna land a freeze now? Oh, he got the slow debuff. It's over. He got the slow debuff. <gasps> oh my god, I can't. I can't. How the... How did Timbo win this? There is no way. Dude, why did Limit not switch his Kinky to a Violent Bill? I would never understand. I think a Violent Bill would be so much better for this game, but he keep, he keep using the Despair Bill. Oh, oh my god, he landed stun. It's over. It's, it's, it's over. GG. Wow, dude. Wow. How did he land and increase cool time? Ain't no fucking way, dude. Why Timbo is not transforming with the pony? Because the kinky is on despair and you might die to the kinky. Why do you want to transform? You don't have to. You can just skill one and stun the enemy. Wow, Timbo. Timbo with the plot armor, guys. Timbo is him, bro. Timbo is just fucking him. <laughs> wow, dude. What the fuck? How did he do that? How did that Dominic survive, bro? Oh, wait, sorry. How did that Dominic survive, bro? <laughs> himbo. <laughs> Dude, Timbo is just him, bro. Bro got the biggest plot armor ever. Oh, wow. How did that Dominic survive? I can't believe that. That was just nonsense. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Timbo with the biggest comeback of Summoner's War were in a championship. Dude, I didn't see that again. What the f I didn't even s What happened, bro? He's like so stressed. Look at him. He's like, that is harder than doing a SWAT PR. How did that Dominic survive? What the hell? What did I not see? Oh, it lagged a little bit right here. Oh, right here. Right here, right here. Uh-huh. And then? Dude, no way! What? It lived for 1 HP! Dude, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! No way! <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. That was crazy, dude. One HP, bro. That's just unlucky right there. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, feels bad, bro. Feels bad. That's why you should go crit damage on Veramos. Well, we. Dude, he's just unlucky. <laughs> oh my god. Should I build a Rage Veramos, guys? Can't believe he forgot about the Rage Veramos build. Could have win right there with a Rage Veramos. Cringe. <laughs> but honestly, I think the biggest fumble of, of Livert is not using a violent kinky and using a despair kinky. It's just kind of weird. <laughs> Alright. We have Pinky and Tutu. Dude, the moment Pinky lose, the entire EU Cup will lose like a thousand viewers. Yeah? You will see people go home for, for dinner. <laughs> If Pinky lose, it's, it's like half the audience gone, bro. So you better hope King, uh, P, uh, Pinky wins, okay? Guys, I want to kind of drink an energy drink, but it's like 9 p.m. So if I drink like a monster right now, I might not be able to sleep. But it's like 9 p.m. though. I'm kind of I'm kind of in the mood for a monster right now. He looks like such a good kid. Look at that. But he's about to flip on Tutu. 
<laughs> he about to flip. He's Korean, right? Is he Korean? I, as in like family Korean. Is he? I I don't know actually. Just drink. I only because the the reason is I only had a monster in the morning. So if I have two in a day, I never have two in a day. The caffeine might be uh, killing me. I drink coffee right before bed. That's like you don't take off your pants and you still go and pee. You can still pee. It's just not gonna be enjoyable. I have a. Uh, I drink energy drink, coffee, matcha, green tea, normal tea. I drink anything. I'm not like a I must drink energy drink or I must drink coffee kind of guy. Someday I have the good old water and electrolytes. Someday I drink uh whatever, you know, I drink some many things. I I don't like pre-workout for some reason. Yeah, that's the thing that I try to use, but whenever I drink a pre-workout, it just kind of feel like meh. I don't know why. I, I try a couple different pre-workout, they all kind of shit. Sag, can't enjoy the the caffeine kick like a dream, bro. So my pre-workout is uh, I eat, I eat something, like fruit. Grab banana, grab grab a a kiwi. I don't know. Kiwi is a cheat code, okay guys. Your skin will be perfect like me. Just eat more fruit. Damn, look at that. So hype. So hype. Bro, Tutu is a like... I don't know. I feel like he's a he's down for like a a, a, a soccer game. <laughs> like he's in the wrong competition. <laughs> I feel like he's down for a sport game or something. My main workout is after what after workout YDCB video. Then you don't you work out like once a week. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be tough, man. Maybe once every two weeks. <laughs> Damn, this this match gonna be hype, bro. This match gonna be hype. -y. All right, all right, let's go. Pink Roid and a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Tian Lang pre-ban, of course. This is a uh, Pink Roy main LD, I think. But I'm sure Pink Roy has more LD5 now, I think. probably. Okay, I voted Pink Roy to win, and then Timbo's gonna clap him. <laughs> That's my prediction. But let's see what happens. Oh, starting off with a Vanessa. Vanessa-based team. So we might be seeing some Cigar Camilla action, maybe. We see more Chung Pung on the other side. Maybe I'll steal more Cigar. More Bella. Okay, big damage. Big single target damage. Are we seeing Cigar Cami? What the fuck? Oh, the wrong LD. We have Cigar Hey Gang, pretty standard too. I would do that. That's the Egg Benedict. Oh, he got the wrong LD. Wrong color. So 2-2, two, two, potentially go for maybe a segment Chung Pung here. Gonna go for more damage. Wow. 
So it's gonna be Masha and a healer, maybe? Rakuni? Oh, Masha Segment. Segment's there to pressure the cigar. Kinky Suiki. Oh my god, Pinkroy turned Korean. That's the Korean pre prelim meta. And also pretty good against the double fire unit getting drafted right there. We got Kinky Suiki. Pinky with the Suiki and the Kinky. All right, so we might see a big AOE here from 2-2. I might ban the Hey Gang and pick a Rika for the fun of it. Oh my God, that is spicy. So let's see what's going to be the big AOE from 2-2 here. It's either fire or win, I think. I'll probably go fire. Oh my God, he got that too? Oh, he got light. So the big AOE from 2-2 will be Sean. It's going to be the Hey Gang Band using the segment to pressure the Cigar. So it's going to be a segment Band and the Hey Gang Band, maybe? Or I mean, Sean, Sean pressure is huge in this match. So it's maybe Hey Gang and Sean Band. And hoping the segment miss, which is a valid choice. Because segment miss all the time. Segment Band and Suiki Band not banning the Hey Gang, though. Eating the Glancing might not be a good idea, but let's see what happens. All right, boys. Round one between two, 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 and three, three, three. That's just against Pink Roy. Big strip. Perfectly speed tuned. Not sure why he didn't ban Hey Gang, so that's why he's gonna lose. But uh, beats me. All right. Big stun on the Kinky though, so might might not be over yet. But two, two, two team is control, absolutely control in the first turn already, and Sagara control the, the Shan as well, so there's really nothing Shan can do. And Kinky has the potential to solo two unit on the side of 2-2, so his next target is going to be Bella. That Bella hit like a truck. Holy shit. Oh my. That, 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 oh my, oh my goodness. And that Cigar is dead. Wow. Kinky going in with big damage, get rid of the Shan. But the more is actually on Despair, so the Kinky is not in the clear to win just yet. But, oh. Not a huge fan of of this position that Tutu is in though. He's still not clear as well. If that Bella gets stunned, Pinky is gonna win. Yeah, I, I, I think I think not banning the Hey Gang Cigar situation is just a bad idea. So 2-2 two -two will have a chance to AoE Despair. Not going to go for it and eat the defense break. This is a bad spot to be in for 2-2 two -two because one Violent proc and it's over. And here comes the Bella going down and Kinky is one step closer to soloing the enemy team at this point. But remember, Amasha dropping down from her beast can actually not get provoked. I mean, not get uh, revenge by the Kinky. So Pink Roy... May not win just yet because the Mora can really never mind. Zero despair stun this time. And he's gonna go down too. And Hey Gang's gonna put some glancing soon on the Masha. And that's gonna be devastating for 2 2. Here we go. Glancing on. Reset on. No attack by pushback. He needs to. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's GG. I think Pinkroy won from the draft right there. I think the draft was uh, not exactly fantastic from 2-2. From so, uh, first game to Pinkroy. Banning Suki was weird, man. Banning Suki was kind of weird. Why Roy never used some skin? Oh, Pinkroy is free to play. So, uh, I think the, the kinky skin was gifted from a viewer. But uh, Pink Roy is a free-to-play player, so uh, he just never buy any skin whatsoever. Right? Right, guys? Free-to-play? Free-to-play? I'm also free-to-play. All right, next round, pre-ban. Let's see what's going to be. All right, this time, pre-ban, I think it's going to be on... 
If I'm 2 2 and playing like that, I'm betting Hey Gang. I'm pre betting Hey Gang for real. Either Hey Gang or Sagara. Sagara and Vanessa getting banned. First pick for 2 2, probably gonna be Oliver. You won't, you don't wanna give Pink Roy the Holy Trinity. It's how to play free to play. Well, how to play is like a low spender. I think he buy like daily packs and stuff. Pretty, pretty chill. Here we go, guys. 2 2 with the first pick right there. Is he grabbing the Oliver? He's grabbing the Oliver, so Pink Roy doesn't have Sagara in this position. He can go for more Chung Pung into Tian Lang and Carnal. If I know Pink Roy, that's gonna be the more getting picked up here, but he might switch to an Ethna for turn one. He's gonna go for Segment for the turn one pressure. And 2 2 can potentially go for Mouse Raccoonie in this position, but he does have to deal with Tian Lang, which is a great counter to Raccoonie and Oliver. So he knows Tian Lang is coming, he might not go for Mouse Raccoonie, but instead go for Mouse Gusa, for example. But then Tutu has a lot of LD, so yeah, he's gonna go for Shizuka and Bella. That will nullify the effectiveness of Tian Lang. Pingong is gonna go for a control team, Chung Pung and Monkey, but they all share the same counter play. That's gonna be Juno. So Juno last pick for Tutu, potentially Juno and Leo for Tutu. And bending out Ping Roy last pick right here. But Tutu is an LD abuser, so I'm not too sure. We might be seeing at least a Juno. I mean, Leo Juno is definitely amazing in this spot, but Tutu is going to go for the turn one oppression instead, and that's going to be the Ethna and another speed lead potentially. But then Ethna is inviting Tian Lang, so I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for that. It's going to be Juno Ethna for Tutu. So instead of Leo to go for the turn two, he'll go for Ethna for the turn one. So Ping Roy definitely going to potentially go for the Tian Lang here, bending out the Shizuka in this position, or bending out the. Oliver for the turn one. Is he gonna go for Tian Lang? He does have Tian Lang. Depends on what he's banning as well. It's gonna go for a dark robo, so he's he's forced to ban the Oliver here. So two two. It depends on the the speed situation. Is he confident? Is he banning out the more? The speed lead coming out, or is he banning the Shan? Because the Shan speed buff and control is insane as well. Because he does have the Juno to kind of mess up that enemy team a little bit. It's gonna be Ethna and it's gonna be the Robo ban. So 2 2 will give the turn one position to Pink Roy. Because I'm pretty sure Pink Roy will outspeed the Bella. Bella is usually not the one with the fastest bio set for any player. So, Sekma's gonna go first. Oh, the Bella actually outspeed the enemy with a better speed lead here. So, but the Sekma will still have to reset under Oliver or Shizuka. Gonna go for the Oliver, get the reset. Can this Bella mess up Pink Roy turn order? Let's see. Push back to Sean. Very good pushback right there. But the more Chung Pung is still gonna go. He, oh my fucking, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. And it's GG. <laughs> and it's a Gigi. Oh! Pink Roy is slower than the Juno. The Juno will survive. Oh, hold up. It's not GG yet. It is not GG just yet. The Juno survived. No crit from Shan. Shan was slower than the Juno with a speed buff right there. So, oh, that is huge. That is bad. Oh, the Shizuka should have skills soon if she get a quick Violent proc here. The Chungpung get a very important Violent proc. So she, the Chungpung has skill 3. Oh, the Revenge. If she's stunned. Oh, she could not finish off the Shan. Oh my god, the, the Sekma can reset again. Can she get it done? She will get it done. Okay, Pink Roy is still going to win this game. But that was very, very close right there. Pink Roy sweating a little bit right there. Holy... Oh my goodness. But I don't know why Tutu let him have the Shan. That is just the worst thing to... I think he should have banned the speed lead. Uh, or, or the Shan right there. Giving him speed lead strip into a Shan full up is... It's like probably the worst position to be in for any player. It's just very, very hard to come back from that. Wait, is that Vam Juno? It's not... Oh, I didn't see. I don't know, man. The... The drafting was uh, kind of sus. Kind of sus.
All right, we're going to game three. I mean, game two. Wait, why did they show 2 0 on the screen earlier? Is that a. Is that a misplay? Oh, it's 2 0. We're going to game three, right? We're going to game three. Oh my god, Pingar's going to win 3 0. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I think drafting Pingar is just superior. Like, he's just way superior in drafting. All right, Pingra get the pre ban here. He's probably gonna get rid of the uh, Hana. I mean, the LD. No, he's gonna ban Oliver Moore. Okay. First week of Pink Roy. Probably gonna get the Vanessa once again into a cigar position. So Tutu will have to steal the cigar away from Pink Roy if he wants to have a chance to win here. If I'm Tutu, oh, Tutu is gonna go for Ciara Segment. So he wants to lean into the Bella and Shizuka second pick here. So Pink Roy does have the cigar. Or the Juno to utilize to deal with these units. Will he pick? Oh, he's gonna go for an Ethna in the mid pick here. What will be the LD or water unit? He's gonna steal the Shizuka as well away from the enemy. So Tutu does have the Juno position to go and potentially an LD that he wished to go with. Is he gonna go for that? It's going to be the LD. That's going to be the Ongyoki for 2 2. A versatile LD is important in this slot. And maybe a Juno to counter the, G the Shizuka and the Ethna. Potentially. It's going to be the Hei Gang to counter. But that will allow Pink Roy to go for the Sonia to one shot either Ongyoki or Sierra turn one. And the Jemai to couple with the Shizuka here. Even a Juno might fall to the Sh the Sonia very easily here. The Tutu is in a very bad spot right now. He has to ban a Sonia and he has to pick a unit to counter the rest of the enemy team. Potentially a Juno. Because you have to deal with the debuff and the immunity coming out of the enemy. Oh, is he going to pick a Leo? He's going to pick a Karno here. A decent unit because there are three win on the enemy team. But uh, this is decent. Sonia ban, Karno ban, 2-2 two, two will get the 24 speed lead, which means Ethna will probably gonna go first to do some good preemptive damage here. Or maybe the Ethna's on violent. It is gonna go first. So some preemptive damage. Not gonna do much, but he might get a stun on the segment because. This Ethna is doing very good damage on the Sekhmet still, and the Sekhmet doesn't seem very tanky. He's going to go for the Sekhmet. And he does get the stun with 3k per hit. Jesus Christ. What the? 3k per hit? Fuck me in the ass, bro. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Sierra with the bomb. Going to land, but that also gave the bomb to Pink Roy to use, and that is definitely not a good idea. The Jamir taking a lot of damage onto, onto from the bomb right there. Not looking so hot right now. Tutu might have a good position to come back. Oh, but no Violent Proc coming out from the Ongyoki. He might get a Despair Stun here, maybe. No Despair Stun on the Shizuka. So, oh my god, that is a... And Jamaya can allow the Shizuka to do it over again. Unless this Ongyoki, nope, not going to get it done. Jamaya with a big reset here. To do it all over again. And it will also prep the AOE defense break. Unless this segment can stop it from happening. And that's GG. He didn't even stun the Ongyoki. He didn't even stun the Ongyoki. Oh my god. That is so perfect. Wow. GG. 3-0 for Pinky. Just better draft, bro. And a little bit better RNG. But I think just better draft. GG. Clean. Simple. Clinical. And superior rune as well, potentially. Picking Sierra without Shizuka to accompany her is just not a good idea. Yeah? Because you are you are just making Shizuka stronger, pretty much. G G. Pinky is just, just better, huh? Pinky is just better. How Timbo gonna beat that? Oh, we shall see. We shall see. Timbo is a wild card, bro. 
Yeah, Jimbo is a wild card, so we don't know what's gonna happen. Wow, great matches. I like that. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me on the stream. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you guys being here and chatting and keeping me awake. Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. We're not playing the audio from the event because they have issue with audio. There's a lot of background noise because of the MC with French going on in the background. So no matter how loud the English castle go, they just can't can't keep a clean audio track. So we have to you have to listen to me, unfortunately. But thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Cray, I thought you went for dinner or something. What are you still here? Lexico with the 50 gifted daddy ship. We have new 50 new daddy in the stream. Guys, can we say thank you to Lexico for the one for the one time? And also code on the screen, Ramenezale Kapo. How how do I do that? I have no idea. 50 gifted membership by Daddy Lexico. Can we say th thanks to to Daddy Lexico and welcome the 50 new daddy to the stream. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Membership is a great way to support the channel, but you can also do that for free by hitting the like button. Much appreciated. I hope they post the code on the stream soon so I can get it for you guys. And I think we're going to go for a quick water break here. Soon, soon, soon. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Are we going for a break? We should be going for a break, right? They didn't post the break yet. Predict with the $10. Oh my God. Thank you. Daddy predict. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. They haven't posted the iOS code yet. Where is it? Thank you. Now I can tell my wife that it was worth it to skip the concert with her. <laughs> my wife is like having fun at a concert right now. And I'm at home streaming for y'all. She was not, she was, she was slightly unhappy about it. But now I can tell her, girl, don't worry. I'm going to bring you to ramen today. So shut up, okay? Something like that. That's probably going to work, right guys? Probably going to work. Bro, Lexico need more accuracy. That is like, for real. Okay, I think they really going for a break. I'm just going to put a code here first. I'm going to go for a break as well. I need to drink some water. Okay. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab some water. What the fuck? Is it... What the... What the... F Bruh! Huh? Daddy Lexico with another 50 gifted membership. What the... The fuck? Thank you, man. All right, this will be me on the stream for now, okay? Oh my God, Nang Lei Nango with the $10. Hold, I need to go get water. Thank you so much. What the fuck?
back. Can't believe it. We got a hundred new memberships. So what is this YouTube membership that I'm so happy about? Uh, with the membership, you can use funny emote like this in a chat when you watch. Or you can also use these emote when you comment under a video to be different than all the lame commenters. You know, that is not a member. Cringe. <laughs> or you can also join the channel member only Discord server by linking your Discord with your YouTube account. And you it will, it will show up in the connection tab. And you can chat with me there. I'm there every day, right? Members, I'm there every day, right? I always respond on that server, right, guys? I even share like great manga recommendation on there. <laughs> like Chain Soldier. Oh my God, it's such a great channel. Wow. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So people be like, oh my God, how do I get Shambi to review my team? Bro, I'm like there every day. And nobody asks me about someone as well. Like all the members in my channel be like, guys, look at my new quad speed roll rune. I got. <laughs> they don't even ask me about like RTI. Hey, Sean, wow, how do I do RTI? They don't even... Nobody ask. They be like, <laughs> look at my new new quad speed rune, bro. <laughs> Bruh. All right, we're going to have a 10 minute break. So uh, we're back with my lame rta for a couple minutes while we wait for the thing to start again i should have like a an off-brand manga channel so you guys can recommend me six digit number wait what Dude, Timbo against Pinky is gonna go real hard, okay? It's gonna go absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, time to become, time to become Pink Roy, Sean Roy. Whoa, whoa! Somebody watch SWC and inspired, get inspired instantly. Look at that. Okay, I need. Chill music again. Can I pick Juno here? Is that a good draft? Maybe. I need a Sean right here. A Sean would be pretty nice. Luffy or hands a lot. I'm not sure. They're both super heavy LD users. It's going to be fun to watch though. Uh, Vanessa's on Swift. Because I, I don't have runes. What do I do? Wow, that's crazy. But that's going to be a tail ban, though. My tail is definitely getting banned. Satch. What did Pinky draft here? I can't remember. What is, what is the follow-up after Juno? Uh, after Cigar? There's some CC unit, right? A big strip? Oh, oh la la. I have to kill uh, Tessarian, I think. But Tessarian is hard to kill, so I'm going to kill Tomoe at first. Big reset. I got the pushback. Oh my god. I am Pink Roy. <laughs> but my rune is like garbage. But still, <laughs> it's working. It is. Oh my. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh no 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 no! Oh 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 oh! Oh, he stripped my Juno speed buff, so he cleansed my Juno. <laughs> oh my god, that is the uh, the unluckiest Smicer moment. Hey! Oh oh shit! That's not good. All right, we kill Smicer. No bomb for you. Not today, buddy. Yo, can you strip my Juno so I get the the cleanse again? Oh wait, but hey gang is uh is oblivion. Stop proking. Jeez. Dude, so many membership on the channel right now. That's crazy. I've never seen that many membership before. I think I can upload more emotes. 
Uh huh. Can I stun? Big stun. Can I despair stun? Big despair stun. Wait, Sean's in EU Cup? <laughs> this is like uh, Smicer versus Pingroy. Can I despair stun again? <laughs> Dude, I'm on that. I want that Hey Gang strategy. Alright, we got it. We got it. Wow, draft like Pink Roy, instant win. Who would have thought? You can also be a member of the channel with, I think there's a $2 option for fun to use the emote and also join the Discord. If you want to, of course. Uh, wait, I always I don't have this unit, so I ban it. Oh, Tiny Dino, he he was G two when I fought him yesterday. <laughs> Man is on that bad streak. He was G two yesterday. He was bad. I don't think Comtas post the link. They post the code. Oh, there's the link. I think. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, you're sleeping? You're not gonna watch more Pinky? Bro, it's Sunday tomorrow. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you sleeping, bro? Uh-oh. That looks kind of scary. That looks kind of scary. Oh my. That looks kind of scary. Oh, uh, my, my, my thing is useless now. My thing is useless now. Where's my Camilla? Oh, she's not room. Never mind. Josephine it is. Why are you sleeping on Saturday night? Okay. How dare you? I'm gonna stay and watch. Hello, Black Raven. We don't have a real damage dealer, but we do have a lot of support. Juno's on this fair revenge. It's pretty simple, pretty standard. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna die to Maximilian. Dude, this guy is gonna be crazy try hard in the next season. Because the skin goes really hard. I like that skin. And Maxi got crazy animation as well. So that's gonna be awesome. Oh, he got the stun. Is he going to get all the attack bar? He didn't get all the attack bars. So we're going to reset the AoE stun. Ouch. Take away your speed buff. Oh, we're going to get that. Josephine? No violent proc. We lost. It's over. Oh, ho, ho. oh we are so dead, bro. My Oh, come on. He got double stun on my Josephine. What am I supposed to do? Oh, we're so dead. Oh, there, there you go. There we go. That's a good start. That's a good start. I like that. We reset Oki, right? So it's not that scary. We need to get this. No! Oh, we need to get the Provoke here. Okay, so he can't heal. Stop, stop. Big heal, big heal. Don't stun Josephine. Don't stun. Dude, how do you stun me every turn with that despair thing? <laughs> okay, he missed that. At least he missed something. Okay, okay. We have a chance here. We have a small chance, guys. Stop stunning my Josephine, bro. Oh, he can heal now. God. Can I get a bio? No, we can't. He's gonna stun my Josephine again. Oh, fuck. Gonna slam my Josephine again. I'm just gonna clap my cheeks. Damn, that hurts so much. <sighs> if only Josephine didn't get stunned every goddamn turn, <laughs> then maybe we got a chance. Satch. Satch. 
Sanch. Oh, he's back to Jito soon. All right, we're back to SWC. Oh my God. Oh, Amigo. So exciting. Roy is just a worse defense breaker, but definitely safer because of the attack break though. You're using the Galleon Leah team, right? So Roy is probably a better idea. Yeah, I have like 300 crystals. <laughs> Dude, farming giants drop your crystals so fast. And R5 is well. R5 is like too fast. I have to stop farming sometimes. Because it's like too low crystal. Dude, Lexico probably break like 20 miles in a week playing summoners or. <laughs> Uh, anyone here has broken a device playing Summoner's War? Anyone? I've heard many stories. I thought it's like a joke, but like I've actually heard many stories of people actually break their phone or iPad playing Summoner's War. Like literally break it. Like they get so angry with RTA, which is understandable. Anger management is, uh, is quite a problem, especially with Summoner's War involved. How do we break it? Just throw it to a wall. I I heard uh, Mars, the YouTuber, the German, the German guy. He 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 grabbed his iPad and almost banned it. I, I mean he banned it. He told me that. Yeah, your old keyboard is missing five keys. <laughs> Wait, you play Summoner's War with keyboard? What? Nani? Alright, I didn't get energy drink, but I did get sugar-free soda. We are all about that... That sweetener. Artificial sweetener in this household. Diet Pepsi, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, both of these guys are super heavy LD, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do. It's going to be exciting. Damn, Hanzala is tall and built. If you win this, you go to Bangkok. Okay, guys? This is the final for some of them. Or like, if your goal is to go to the final, this is the final. If your goal is to win, the whole thing is not the final yet. But if you win now, you go to Bangkok. You can bang some... Oh, wait, what? I mean, Thailand. Thailand. Sawadika. Finally, a Europe Cup that is filled with European. <laughs> Even the audience is filled with Europeans. <laughs> Finally, a place where it's not dominated by Chinese. <laughs> not yet. Not yet dominated by Chinese. All right, boys, let's go. Will we see Salado? I want to see. I want to see the big black snake. All right, here we go. Let's see what happened. Lufia against Hanzalot. Gear fifth coming our way, guys. Gear fifth, baby. All right, let's get some different music here. Maybe some. Epic, maybe? Who's my vote? I don't know, man. 
Hoiva is more fun to watch. Uh, pretty standard first pick here from two player. Nothing too crazy yet. Nothing too crazy. Hate Chinese player in RTA. They have way too many LDs. Bruh, the two guy in front of me right now, they can literally, <laughs> they are filled with LD. <laughs> Alrighty, hands a lot with a big black snake coming right up, baby. I like that. I like that. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Lufia, what will you go for? I would personally go for a fire monkey carno here and bend the last pick and probably can auto and win. But that's me. What do I know? Double fire. Oh, that's the premium fire monkey. And he go for Shizuka. Against uh, Cigar. I'm not too sure about that. But then he does have the segment to put pressure on Cigar. So I think Shizuka is not too bad. He's using the silence from, from Salah to use it against Hanzalot as well. So what is going to be Hanzalot last pick here, guys? Is he banning segment? Is he banning Shizuka? Is he using a bruiser unit? Oh my... He's banning the Oliver to get that turn one. They are both banning speed lead here, I think. Or I think Lufia will have to ban at least the Cigar or the Sonia. He's getting one shot. The Sonia is such a big pressure nowadays. It's crazy. So Sonia's scary, bro. Especially when you pick damage deal like Ongyoki or Han. Sonia is a huge ass threat. All right, both speed lead out of the way. It's going to be a race. But Hanzala has two high base speed unit. Lufia only has one and his speed leader is not applicable to the high base speed unit. So, let's see. Oh my god, the Yan Hong Go. The Sonya is not too fast, which means the attack will be very high. Boost to Salah. Going to go for the silence onto the segment. Get the stun as well. Here we come. If if she failed to boost, he lose right now. He get the boost. Sonia's gonna get a turn here. Going straight into the Han. Get the Han out of the way. If Cigar landed, Cigar will land the reset on the Shizuka. Oh my god, Hanzalot is gonna win. He got all the perfect setup. And his plan worked. And right. Oh, hold up, hold up. Hanzalot's in trouble. On Yoki is not letting the, the match go just yet. So Hanzo is going to take, we're going to lose his biggest damage dealer here. But Sagar still, is still a defense breaker. And Yong Hong is a great damage dealer. So Ong Yoki is still in trouble here. Unless the Ong Yoki defense break and one shot something right here. No violent proc for Ong Yoki. But the Sagar is definitely going to still be in trouble. He does have a defense break here. He, w why you, why not go for the Ong Hmm, that is a, that's a, that's a fumble move right there, I think. Oh, he does, he does have damage, maybe. Maybe he really want to get rid of the segment. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I thought he had damage with the Yon Hong, but I'm wrong. Oh, oh shit, oh, 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 he didn't want this to have, oh. You know what? Hanselot made the right call right there, but he got bad RNG. He could not kill the segment in time, and, and that's GG. Wow. If we could get rid of the segment, that could have been uh could have been a different game altogether. Wow. Damn, feels bad. Feels bad. From the guy who one shot to the guy who get one shot so quickly. So quickly. GG. Damn, that was so quick. That that turnaround was very, very fast. All right, boys. Round two. Are we seeing an Ongyoki free ban? I don't think Hansel has Ongyoki, right? Oh, I think a segment free ban. Not too bad. Huh? <laughs> Ongyoki actually OP? I know, right? Imagine a unit that doesn't care about element, has defense break, great AOE damage and sustain, and also kind of immune to stun and can't die that easily. It's kind of strong. 
People will say cocky is better. It's like, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Trying to bring your cocky into a stun team. <laughs> All right, stealing the Han. Okay. Pre nerf Kaki is stronger, bro. Pre nerf Kaki can can destroy you and marry your mom at the same time. That's not a comparison. <laughs> That's just not fair. Pre nerf Kaki is like a something else. Okay, pretty standard team coming from these two players. Hansa trying to get a turn one right there with the Asher. How many Swift set does this guy have? Oh my god. He has like three, four different high base speed unit rune up. Man, man has like five to six Swift set with like plus 220 or something. I don't know. Ongi nerfed twice. Yeah, I wonder why he got nerfed. Not like he's strong or anything, you know? <laughs> Double speed lead from Lufia. A lot of pressure, attack power reduction, and damage. Kind of crazy. Hands up. Does need a speed lead here. Maybe a Vanessa into a Wind Robo can be a pretty good last two pick here. It's going to be the Tomoe for the speed lead. He does need some sort of strip attack for pushback here. Or else he's in a lot of trouble. Maybe the Big Black Snake. Who knows? Oh, it's going to be Sackmet for the high base speed unit and the pressure onto the Oliver and the Cigar. So Lufia either want to raise with a high base speed unit like uh, Zabala, for example, or it's going to be a little bit uh, defensive and maybe ban the damage and pick a sustained unit in this slot. Can be a good old Abelio, but he does have LD, so I'm not sure what LD is going to throw out. It's going to be the high base speed. He's going to raise. That's going to be the Ethna getting picked up here. So against the double fire, maybe not the best idea. So maybe it's going to be Asher ban or Sackmet ban. I think it's going to be Asher and Ethna ban. And Hanselot does still have the Sackmet to control. And maybe Hanselot's going to be having the upper hand. But maybe it's going to be Tomoe ban. So Luffy will get the double speed lead going for him. But because his unit is not high base speed, so it's not going to be good. It is going to be speed lead banned, but hands a lot. Asher might still outspeed. Uh, no, but Ethna, can he stun the Asher though? That's going to be a big question as well. Let's see what happened here, guys. Here comes... What the fuck is that? What is that segment? Oh my, it's like on violent. <laughs> it's a vile segment. He's, he's going to be able to dis disappoint himself twice in a row if the segment violent. <laughs> All right, guys. Vio segment. Here we go. Get the strip. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Which means Han can go for the quick strip. Gonna go. If I'm Han, I think I'm going to go for the Ethna, though. Because you reset the cigar. He might not be as useful anymore. But he went straight into the cigar. Could not finish the kill here. And he will have to deal with the Ethna coming up with the AoE. And he can't really stop that. Here we go, guys. Ethna coming in hot with the big AoE. Defense break on three target. And Oliver's moving in hot as well with the reset. Get the Han. Here comes the segment. It's gonna land some debuff. No violent prop. No nothing just yet. But the defense break is gonna be extremely useful if the Han can capitalize on that. But the Han was not fast enough to get a turn here. Unfortunately, the Han's gonna lose the turn to the Oliver potentially. Nope, Oliver gonna go for the on on the on the Asher and get the attack back with a glancing debuff. Ethna gonna finish off the Han. Hans is in a lot of trouble here. His unit is all being reset, and the only one left is the Sagmet, which used all her skill already and getting dispersed on the face. And that is pretty much GG because Sagmet cannot contribute to. Oh my, that is a lot of damage. And uh, yup, yup. That is done. Letting the Ethna live was definitely the biggest fumble in that moment right there. He lent the reset on the cigar. So cigar was going to be useless for a long time. So letting the Ethna stay 
doing so much damage was definitely not a cool idea. I think Han was in the position to kill the Ethna right there. But he didn't do that. Round three. Is Luffy going to Bangkok? Will he find a One Piece? All right. What's going to be the pre ban here? He does get the first pick this time. So he can pick the Han. And what's the biggest counter to Han coming out from Hans a lot? Might be... Uh, so, uh, maybe take the Escher out of the way, potentially. Maybe take the Big Black Snake. It's going to be Lima getting pre banned here because Hans Lot does have Lima Pater as well, which is really scary. First pick for Luffy. Probably going to take the Han. It's going to be a D. Han getting picked up first. Hans Lot does have the option to go for speed lead into Sagara here. He's going to go speed lead Sagara. Luffy has the option to go for speed lead Chung Pung. But remember, Hanzo does have the Yon Hong and the Snake combo and also Sonia. So we might have to go for something faster than more Chung Pung. So maybe more Ethna will be more preferred here. Or more segment. It's going to be Oliver on Yogi for Luffy. So Hanzo has the option to go for Yon Hong Sonia here. That will completely shut down Luffy. But it's going to go for the segment. The segment was kind of slow earlier. So I'm not too sure if that's going to be the good idea. And he's going to go for a slow position as well. That's going to be Segment Chung Pung. Luffy can go for double fire in the last pick here. Potentially go for a Duckless and a Fire Monkey King. But will he go for that? Or a Raccoonie? A double fire last pick is going to be really good. He has a lot of options. Juno, Duckless, Raccoonie, Meiho Wong. Many double fire is going to be great against Hans a lot here. But will Luffy use his position to go double fire? He is going to lock in the Ethna, Trying to get that turn one. And the fire counter pick. Juno last pick. Not bad. Not bad. Good draft from Luffy so far. I like that. I like what he's doing. Hans a lot is in a lot of trouble. He's going to go with the Rika. Which means he has to ban the Juno. So Luffy will ban the speed lead. And get that turn one position. And completely shut down Hans a lot. Because he has no way to control Luffy turn one. There's going to be a Vanessa Juno ban here. And I think Luffy has this one in the back. Defense lead and speed lead for Luffy. Let's see what happens. We're rooting on everybody as expected. But we have one strip here. And one big AoE. And the biggest target will be Rika. So I think whatever he's doing... He's going for the Chung Pung. Okay. Okay. Um... Not a... Not the, ignoring Rika altogether. Oh. Not even attempting to control the Rika. Hmm. Maybe uh maybe Hanzalot can go hands free mode in this in this match already. Yup, yup. Even if he missed the strip, it's okay. But he didn't. So defense break set up and uh everybody is gonna Die to dots. Big stun on the everybody. Big stun on the young Yoki, but uh, it's okay. Young Yoki doesn't cleanse the rest of the debuff anyway. So, um, Rika's win. <laughs> yeah, not sure about not controlling the Rika, my guy. Not sure about that. Yuppie yup. Hmm. We're, we're match. We're match. I think I would take the control from the Chung Pung Cigar because they don't have slow debuff. And Luffy with a speed lead and on Yoki can easily lap Chung Pung Cigar. But letting the Rika drop. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Moving on to round four. Maybe Luffy is being a good guy. He's just giving a free win. Maybe he's just giving a free win. You know? 
a, an easy win is never a way to go for a protagonist story. Right, guys? All right, boys, here we go. Here we go. We have the Han. We have the Han for Hanzalot. I just realized Han for Hanzalot. Wow. So what is Luffy going to do? He can go for Oliver segment if he's uh, he's going to go for Oliver Bella. Cigar gonna pick up a hands up and the Yonhan as well. Still gonna go for that turn one, but leaving the rear open. Not exactly the best strategy. Lufia can really use what hands a lot used in the next game. In the last game to counter him right now. I would say uh some big AoE. What is this? Creepy ass music, bro. I want some intense music. Oh my, Smicer is really the icon of SWC EU. Gonna go for Smicer and the bomb spreader Tomoe. Hanzo can still go for more strip and the turn one possession here because Luffy's gonna go for turn two. So it's gonna be Hey Gang getting picked up by Hands a lot. Maybe a speed lead, maybe a strong AoE, maybe a Juno. Maybe a Pater, who knows? Many, many way to go here for Hands a lot. And his last pick will be Arika once again because Luffy team is also very vulnerable to a strong AoE. And Luffy last pick, whatever it will be, will definitely get banned here. He does need a strip and more debuff on the team. So maybe a Shizuka is not too shabby if he ban out the Sagara or Juno and he ban out the Han. The Han can be decent as well. What will be Luffy's decision here? It will be the Ethna. He loves his Ethna. And seeing the enemy doesn't have any speed, the Ethna is going to take the first turn. So maybe it's going to be an Ethna ban here for Hanzalot. So it's going to be Ethna and Rika ban if he wish to survive. It's going to be the Yonhong ban and the Ethna ban. Luffy will have to deal with the power of Hey Gang. And that is something that I don't want to deal with personally. Because Luffy Strip comes with a lot of debuffs, so Heigang is going to be fully maximized in his potential. So Luffy would need to get a good lucky proc to get rid of the Han or the Rika quickly. Or else he's in a lot of trouble. Going to go straight into the Rika. Not going to give Hanzalot the chance this time, but that will give the Heigang free attack power. And you know what that means. It's mean a good old cigar step on me, mommy kind of moment. And the Han is going in straight up, absolutely destroying... Luffy as well, and Rika was not reset it, and that is pretty much GG. We go next. Letting the letting this Hey Gang stay with this team is the worst thing ever. I'll draft it, guys. I'll draft it. What is Luffy doing? Why is he fumbling every single match, bro? <laughs> Man is just not doing so well, man. Luffy is just not doing well at all, bro. Why, why is he messing up? What is he doing? I don't understand. Suddenly, his thought process is so weird. It's like a different person. All right, boys. We're going round five between Luffy and Hans a lot. He could have gone double fire. And he's like... No. <laughs> He's just like, what? Weird, bro. What is he doing? All right, guys. Cigar and Bella Ban. Luffy get the first pick. He can get the Han away from Hans a lot. Will he do it? No. I think... I think Luffy can't play against Pink Rod. No way. The drafting is not consistent at all. And Pink Rod draft is very consistent. Consistently good. 
Hansel has a very weird unit and uh, and a good last pick. So I think Hansel drafting is definitely better overall. Luffy drafting is just kind of weird. Why are they busting out weird weird ass draft at the end? I mean, Tomoe Champong is good, but it's just like it doesn't feel like him, you know? It's like it's, he's testing stuff. I don't know why. Here we go, guys. What is going to be the counterplay coming for Luffy? Can he, he need to stop picking his Ethna, bro? All right, a Juno, not too shabby, not too shabby. But Tomori is actually decent counter against Juno, even though Juno can counter uh, Tomori if Hansel has damage follow up, and that's gonna be the Yonhong. He's probably gonna pick the Sonia somewhere in the last pick as well. So Yonhong into a damage is needed. He's lacking a little bit of strong damage and defense break here. And that's going to be the Vanessa. So Luffy has the option to go for Rika Douglas. I mean, Douglas kind of bad against Yan Hong though. But some sort of uh, double strong AoE. Like Shizuka, Rika, whatever nonsense that he's trying to go. There's so many options here. If he go for Ethna, I will literally slam the table. Hansel has the, the Sonya last pick too. He can go Leo Rika. He go for Wusa Camilla. Not too bad. Not too bad against Tomoe. I like that. Not too shabby. And Doman getting picked up here for Hans a lot. It's either Doman or Sonia. They're all good. It's going to be Doman here for the kill. And I think it has to be the Doman ban. And Hans a lot will have to ban out the... Uh, maybe Juno? Yeah, he has to ban out Juno. Because Changpang is good against the entire team of Luffy, except Juno. So it's going to be Juno, Doman, Ban, and maybe Hanzala has the upper hand. It's going to be Yonhong, Camilla, Ban. So Hanzala still keep the Doman. Luffy not expecting, I mean, not respecting the Doman, waiting for the resistance to happen. It, it might work. It might work. I don't know. Uh, Hanzalot Changpang is extremely good against the entire team of Luffy as well. Except for Juno, but Juno can be ignored for a while. And Doman can slap the Juno with the curse. So if he land the curse, he win. Right here. He literally just need to land the curse and he win. Karma first for the strip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the stun. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Max Res? I expect it. Doman only needs some good accuracy, so Max Res is fine. No defense break. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. He needs to land that curse. He land that curse on Juno. Changpang control the rest. He win the game. It is that simple. It is that simple, guys. Changpang control. A big pushback. R did not land on the Wusa with the cooldown reset. Get the curse. Very nice. He needs to land a stun on the Wusa to win here. Because the Wusa can sacrifice his HP for that shield. Is It is important. Big stun on the Wusa. Okay. Okay, that's a big stun. All right, all right. Luffy is in trouble. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Dong Yoki has the AoE next turn. And Chung Fung cannot stop the Dong Yoki anytime soon. Unless the, the Vanessa Violent Prawn do some good damage on the defense broken on Yoki right here. Oh, because the Doman died. The curse go away. Oh, no. Oh, it's GG. All right, hands a lot lost. He just can't stop this on Yoki and Juno. It's, it's GG. Luffy won. See, guys, Luffy just wanted to give a good show. It's a bad show if the protagonist win right off the bat. You don't. You you don't want to watch the protagonist just win all the way. You get, it gotta be a good show. Uh, so Juno on Yoki solo from the rest of of this match, pretty much. Pretty much from here on now. Wow, that is a kind of a... But, but he won anyway. That's GG. All right, Luffy is moving on to the final. Let's see who's going to be joining Luffy in the final. But one thing we all know, Luffy is going to Bangkok, Thailand. GG.
He finally focused on the right unit in the last game. He focused on Doman, get rid of the curse, and and he did well. Stressful, guys. Stressful. I want a boyfriend like hands a lot. Okay, buddy. True. You want a boyfriend like Sei Shizoto? Ooh. He's gonna analyze your entire life and say that you are not living optimally. Why are you not speed running your life, huh? <laughs> you take a shit for five minutes, say she's all gonna pop in and be like, Why are you taking your shit so long? Speed run your shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hands a lot is, is built and tall as well. Crazy. Yeah, living with Seishizo might be stressful though. I can't lie. Like we went, we went out in Korea together. We went to uh, dinner. We went to karaoke. We went so ma we went to do so many things. You know what Seishizo did? My man play RTA in every occasion. Like, can we relax, bro? Like, chill. Like, can we stop playing RTA? <laughs> uh. Dong, Kang Vui nói là the more, the merrier. Hoặc đơn giản hơn là the more, the happier. But usually it's the more, the merrier. All right, guys, Daddy Timbo. Bro, he's hot. <laughs> I'm a man and this man is hot, okay? Like, if Timbo is going with me and my wife for dinner, I would feel very unsafe, okay? That is scary. These people's eyes look tired from RTA. No shit. I'm tired for them. I'm not even playing. <laughs> Dude, maybe, you know what? If he go out with my wife and me for dinner, my wife should feel unsafe. <laughs> Bro, it's Timbo. What are we talking about? All right, guys. We're going for the second semifinal between Pinkeroy. Pinkeroy, dude. And Himbo. This stream is proudly sponsored by Daddy Lexico with 100 gifted. Thank you so much. We, we got other donation as well. Really appreciate that, guys. Before we go into the match, I'm going to turn on an ad. All right. I wonder if anyone saw an ad. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if anyone saw an ad. Guys, wait, wait. Let's see. If, let's see anyone complain. Nobody complained about the ad. Bruh. This ad button is broken. Not a single person complained about ad. Bro, what do you mean? The only people who get ads are people on, who are on TV. And they can't complain because they, they're on the TV. Bro, there was no ad. Fuck! I thought YouTube improved and they... They they like... They, they cut all the ad blocker now. I just skipped the ad? How dare you, bro! I gotta feed my 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 protein shake. <laughs> gotta buy protein shake, man. You know how expensive that shit is. Can buy buy creatine and stuff. Unbelievable. Gotta get my my vitamin D as well. Okay, and like fish oil. God, so much supplement. Anyway, Timbo and Pink Roy. Here we go. Now, God, I also have YouTube Premium. I haven't seen an ad in like so long. YouTube Premium is golden, bro. Watching YouTube on TV is the best. And like, no ads. Hell yeah.
What's happening? Pink Roy account around two hundred fifty thousand dollars. What do you mean, Pink Roy speed of fine? Oh my God, there's a pause. I have to insert another ad. Damn, crazy. I wonder what happened. Oh my God, it's an ad happening right now. <laughs> See, they're still on pause. The ad finished and it's still pausing. Thank God. Is it there an ad cooldown? I have no idea. I press the button. I don't even know anything happened. <laughs> There's a button that I can see called insert ad. I press it and I hope that something happened. Who I choose for the event? Uh, Timbo. Timbo. Play another ad. I'll watch this one. Guys, the match is paused, so I have no other things to do so we have to play another ad god damn it i play another ad guys what can i do oh my god all right guys here we go oh we have vanessa and we have the tian lang pre-band first pick for timbo so ping roy has the option to go for more chung Pung like how he did last game and his more Chung Pung is very well ruined or he can go for Oliver Mouse Raccooning uh, so Timbo's probably gonna steal the cigar oh my god there's another there's another pawn why is there no loser bracket he has to go through Livert and Timbo I mean that's the competition that's just how it is What's happening, bro? Is Comptos turning on the secret button? Is it a secret button getting turned on here? They are pausing to give Pink Roy extra RNG. Hmm. Tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat on. Is that true? All right, meanwhile, I'll check my TOA. Guys, today I was bored at the gym. So I was I was doing the gym and I was doing TOA hell. And somehow I got 14 star. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. All right, just a uh, like, fun fact. Anyway, back to the show. Oh, never mind. Back to the pause. <laughs> You know what is behind a maintenance? More maintenance. Yeah, I need to clear one more stage to get the LD scroll. Maybe that is... Dude, they put they put this dumbass unit. This thing does like 20k per hit. It's so stupid. This unit hits so hard. They put that at Douglas. Like, huh? Bruh, I, I, I got to the boss stage and it was... It was a slap to the face. Unbelievable. It hurts so much, guys. It hurts so much. Gotta get a guide for that. <laughs> Maybe I should, like, drop the immunity thing. So I don't have to bring a stripper for that. I've done TOE Hell for so long. My TOE Hell knowledge is, like... Shit now. Oh my my, we are still waiting. Is that a Gianna I saw on TOE Hell? I mean, it was kind of working until at the boss stage, then she's kind of useless. Play one match in RTA, but then we don't know when the pause is going to end. 
the pause might end like right now. We, we should do TOA Hell in the meantime. All right, we, we, we should do TOA Hell in the meantime. Get some, uh, get some TOA Hell content going. All right, guys, all right. So we, I could have played like 20 more ads and it's still going to be fine. Oh yeah, Lauren's actually good. But you have to you have to strip turn one, right? It's kinda annoying. Let me check. Maybe I should do two star only. So I don't have to deal with immunity. Two star only is fine. All right, tell me, tell me when the thing's back, okay? I think I do something like this, and then we do this, kapoom, and then you freeze, and I can auto, right? I can probably auto. Like just kill one thing, and then yeah, I can auto. Oh, it's gonna take a while. I think the staff is still standing next to Thimble for some reason. Not sure what's worse, playing TOE Hell or watching TOE Hell. Uh, I haven't encountered a violent proc condition so far, so it's not that bad. I hate violent proc condition, it's like crazy. If Livert win, it will be here for the two hours. It's not that bad. If people don't try to bruiser liver, it, it can be a bit faster too. I'm doing TOA Hell on uh, free removal. Like, I changed runes so much. If there wasn't free removal, I probably wouldn't do it. Because it. And also, if there wasn't like a rune save function, because I messed up everything I have. If there wasn't like a rune save function and free removal, I'm probably gonna not gonna do it anyway. But then you get an LD scroll. Uh, you get two LD scroll actually because you get the all attribute. It is kind of an LD scroll as well. Stage nine. Usually stage nine they have like fucking Camilla. Like Camilla is just dumb. Any sort of immune boss or like self cleanse boss is just like stupid. I hate it so much. Wait, we're starting again? All right, we're starting again. All righty. Here we go. Here we go. We got Hey Gang first pick because Tim Pinkroy go for like a turn one team, so Hey Gang first pick is kind of cool. Pinkroy is gonna take the cigar away from Timbo. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. And it's gonna go with a mouse. Ooh. A very uh strange combination for a pink Roy here in the first turn. I wonder what is Timbo's gonna do against this combination here. I think this combination is gonna be open for Leo last pick from Timbo. But not sure what Timbo's gonna go here because Hangang is a very open-ended unit, so. Very hard to see what he's going with. He's going with a bruiser team. He's going to go for anti-attack power reduction. And a Jemaya for the damage and the slow debuff. Okay, interesting. Interesting. No damage coming out from Timbo just yet. No defense break as well. So he will have to draft some sort of defense break here. Not sure what he's going to go for. Oh, we have Oblivion and Raccoonie hard countering Timbo at the moment. Timbo is definitely in a bad spot here. Okay, I'm not sure what Timbo is trying to do with that, but that's what we're going to get, boys. 
We have Sagara here for the damage. I like that. I like that. And big AoE. Not too bad. Not too bad. I do like that. Antara is getting picked up. Ooh, interesting. Even Timbo is smiling about it because it's like, oh, really? <laughs> you are really doing that, huh? Is he? Oh, it's going to be a Riley. It is going to be a Riley. Nothing too crazy. So I think it's going to be a Riley ban, maybe? Because he, he's going heavy debuff here. So maybe a Riley ban, potentially. It's going to be a Riley ban. It's going to be a Carno ban. Holy, look at that. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Pink, Roy, and Timbo, game one. How is he going to kill without defense, bro? Hmm. But then Pink Roy will have... Pink Roy does have Oblivion. Huh. I think, I think Pink Roy has the upper hand, if I'm not wrong. Because, like, how is... If he's transformed, he's gonna get pushed by. Man, it's it's kind of tough for Pink Roy to do damage as well, but I'm sure, I'm sure at some point Pink Roy will be able to oblivion and do a lot of damage on on Timbo unit sooner or later because Timbo doesn't have like a, an active every turn cleanse as well. He does have this Jamaya cleanse that he's gonna use right here. So this is the only opening that Timbo will ever get. And it's going to be very hard to, to do good damage in this position. So he's going to transform, risking getting provoked in this turn. And oh, that despair stun though. Okay, okay. That is huge. Okay, but, but Raccoon is going to fix all that real quick too. Yeah, he's really lacking because Raccoon fixed all the damage very quickly. So, oh, big despair stun again. Okay, okay, okay. He, he's getting it. Oh, but Oblivion's gonna block the horse uh, pass if he can't crit with, because the horse probably gonna be built with no crit rate and high damage. So, so the Oblivion blocked the horse transformation right there. That was very crucial for the horse. But somehow Timbo's doing pretty good damage. And the slow debuff is really helping Timbo controlling Pink Roy um, momentum right there. Because he needs the unit to move, but they're not moving because of the slow debuff. And if he get another despair stun, maybe. Big double despair stun. Oh my god. Oh my god. This horse is doing it. Wait a minute. Wait. Timbo's, Timbo's getting so much attack bar from the Raccoonie. Cleansing the team. And because Timbo debuff is every single turn, he gets all the debuff all the time. So Raccoon is constantly boosting Timbo team. Tim Timbo is actually having a ragdoll on his team pretty much every turn because of Raccoon on the enemy team. And he's actually doing enough damage. Oh my god. Wow. The horse is doing a lot of damage. Look at that. Look, look, look at the Raccoon cleansing. It's just like free attack bar. And a slow horse become a fast horse because of the uh, attack bar gain and more slow debuff coming out from the dragon to keep the mouse damage low, to keep the cigar from moving. Oh my god, Timbo, what the? What are you cooking? That is crazy. Oh, no stun this time, but he might finish off the raccoon here if he can, can kill the raccoon. He's going straight to the... Oh, that is a bad... That's a bad move. He got Oblivion twice. He lost a lot of attack bar momentum here. Oh, that is bad. Unless the dragon can finish off the cigar. Could not finish off the cigar, but I'm sure cigar is going to go down now. Big AoE despair stun. More despair stun coming out. Oh my god. That is a big despair stun on the Thessarian. He could not use the turn to do damage. Oh my god, that damage is crazy. But, but Timbo still have three healthy units. And that's a lot of damage coming out from the dragon once again. Big debuff as well. This might finish off. This might finish off the Saurian. Oh my god. The Saurian's going to go down. And the dragon is really good against uh, the, the mouse. He's doing good damage against the mouse. 
Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, Raccoonie. Raccoonie is doing it. Raccoonie is... Raccoonie is pulling Pink Roy team back. Violent? No. Oh my god, that damage is crazy, though. Unless the Dragon Violent proc here. Unless the Dragon Violent proc here. Oh my god, the Dragon! GG. There's no way Raccoonie do this, right? He is a healer. Raccoonie may win if, if Timbo doesn't have a healer, but Timbo has a healer, so... Are we going to a draw? Are we going to a draw? Are we going to a draw right now? No way, dude. Yo, you skill one. Come on, skill one does more damage at this point. We're not going to a draw, right? Oh my god, that hit hard. Well, that's kind of funny, though. That is kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, now we just need to watch Raccoon die slowly to, uh, to whatever... To, to whatever is happening right here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Who would have thought? I thought he would have no damage, but turned out he has more damage than, than I thought he would. That is crazy. I mean, at some point, Raccoon will have to die. There's no way a draw will happen in SWC, right? I think they're just not allowed to quit early. That's pretty much it. Timbo got the first win. What the hell, dude? What the hell that actually happened? That Jemaya goes crazy. <laughs> wow. Oh, very interesting. Daddy Timbo is not done yet. Poor Raccoon, he needs to be buffed, guys. Raccoon is not showing up. Raccoon just not showing up. We need to uh have a buff Raccoon campaign for for the for the rat. How dare Timbo get violent bro? SMH brother. Alright. Oh, they they are banning the same unit. They're just sharing the ban. They are just sharing the ban, boys. All right, let's see what Timbo is cooking this round. Jemai Alexandra. That is so weird. Who would have thought? Because Alexandra is not even like a big cooldown unit. It, it gets the cooldown back every turn anyway. Camilla Vanessa. Okay, that's another different combo that Timbo is cooking. And that is definitely not weak against Tian Lang, so that is not bad. Tian Lang is pretty useless against uh, Vanessa Camilla. And Timbo can still go for Fire Monkey and uh, the Pure Vanilla. The Timbo is like a, a cookie fan. His team, his team always have some sort of Pure Vanilla going on. Like, this is a Fire Pure Vanilla and, I don't know, Gyo game. Fire Pure Vanilla. Oh my god, he has that too? Yikes. So we got a pet hurry coming up. And a segment. He's switching up. He is switching up a little bit here. Suiki getting picked up for a bruiser draft. Not too bad. Good elemental usage right there coming out from Pink Drawing. Of course, it's Pink Drawing. You know, I expected at least that. But I think Camilla should be so good here. But then Camilla's on the enemy team already. Raccoonie and Suiki getting picked up here. Timbo need to go for a strong AoE or a strong water unit, maybe. I wonder what it's gonna be for Timbo. It's gonna be Sonia! Oh my god! I actually going into Sonia. So Sonia's gonna potentially one shot the Suki. Very good last pick right there from Timbo. Might need to be a ban right there. I think Timbo is gonna ban the monkey or the or the raccoon. Monkey's gonna be banned here. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Got the increased cool time on the Chung Pong. Cannot spin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ping is in trouble. Oh, I could not get that defense break. He needed that defense break for the Camilla to do some real damage. Really needed defense. But Sekma can defense back later. So it's not a big problem just yet. 
And the Patur can do a lot of damage as well with the defense break coming out on segment. So this is actually... Oh, wait, this... Oh, that might change the flow right there. That might change the flow right there. Here we go. Big freeze. He need the defense break, though. He really need a good defense break. Okay, the defense break on the win unit. So not the biggest fan. And defense break on the Patur. That is very bad. Oh, Pingro getting the violent proc this time. Patur is in a lot of trouble here. I think he has to change back. He need the self-cleanse happening. Oh my god, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt so bad. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, that hurts so much. He needs to reset the uh, the Chung Fung once again. The heal from the Camilla is not going to be enough. There's no control. There's no control for Timbo. He lost all his potentially good control moment. Raccoon is such an impactful unit. The, the freeze from Camilla, the turn giving. That is crazy. Uh-oh. Pingo is probably going to have this round. Unless Camilla Valen Pro every single turn. Uh-oh. He's in a lot of trouble. And without AoE from the Chengpeng, the debuff stick on the Camilla so much longer because nobody's touching Camilla. That is a very important crit right there. Oh my god, that was huge. That was so important. That slow debuff is going to be very impactful on the more. Okay, but segment's definitely going to go down, which means the Chengpeng has to be taken care of. He just can't keep going water on fire and water like this, man. You have to stun the Suki, maybe. <laughs> Attack break the Suki, maybe? He need the attack break. Uh-oh. Suki's going in. Oh my... Imagine if Suki get a Violent Proc right there. It's over instantly. Oh, but that's GG. Oh, that is GG. Oh, the Suki draft. It... It cucked the Vanessa and Camilla combo so much. Vanessa... Camilla could not touch the Suki at all. Man, the Suki draft was too clean. It's all about that Suki. That, that Suki did everything. Pretty much. GG, guys. GG. Moving on to the next round. Yeah, moving on. That Suki was too good. GG. That's pretty much it. Not easy, man. Pink Roy is a huge problem. Yeah, not easy at all. All right, round three, boys. Round three. Here we go. Oh, we got the LD band this time. Okay, we got the LD band this time. What is going to be Timbo first pick? I think he has to pick Cigar. I think Cigar is probably one of Timbo's best unit in this position. He still go with Hey Gang. I guess because uh, the main thing about, about Pingro is going turn one and strip. So Hey Gang is just really, really good right there. So he has to go Hey Gang all the time. Cigar Shizuka. Okay. So what is Timbo going to do? Is he going to try to go for Jemaya once again? Jemaya Juno? Because you have to counter Shizuka somehow, right? Jemaya Rakuni. Now he's going to take the Rakuni. Not giving it away this time. He got the Rakuni. Okay, okay. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? So I think Pingra can actually go Suki once again. But he might leave the Suki for last pick in this position. He's going to go for Fangyan. What the fuck is Fangroy doing? Fangyan and Antares. Oh my. What the fuck? <laughs> Fangyan and Antares. Who would have thought, guys? Who would have thought? Well, well, well. What am I seeing here? <laughs> Juno to counter, but I think that's going to be a vampire ban and he's going to pick a Suki and Timbo is in deep shit right now. I think. I think Timbo is definitely in a lot of trouble here. 
Okay, monkey ban and the vampire ban. So how the hell Juno's gonna kill Antares quickly? Oh, Timbo is Timbo is in a lot of trouble now. Uh oh. Oh. How does he kill Antares? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a big stun. That's a big stun right there. He's focusing on Cigar first, actually. He's ignoring the Antares altogether. Oh no, he defense break with the glancing. That is bad. That is bad. The Fang Yen. That Fang Yen hurt. I saw that Fang Yen rune is, is insanely ruined. It's so tanky. Uh-oh. You know when Timbo take too long to damage, that entire is gonna be absolutely crazy. Oh my god. I I, I think I think Fingra got this. Like he doesn't even need the Antares to go crazy. Yeah, it, Timbo damage is like lacking, severely lacking, at this point. Oh my god, that Fengen hit like a truck, bro. Holy moly! <laughs> oh my god, he can't. How does he kill anything? How does he kill Fengen at the end? I've seen the Fengen solo. Much worse opponent. Much worse. But the despair from Timbo is definitely popping off though, not gonna lie. Timbo despair is going crazy. Actually crazy. And uh oh this entire is also proccing a whole lot as well, potentially. Timbo is just praying that the entire doesn't proc too much and he despair stun the entire. That's about it. Stun again. How the fuck did he despair stun so often? This is crazy. I think Pinky has to throw this, right? He's so scared of the Juno that he doesn't want to throw that. But if he throw that and then this defense break going on, that is huge for the Antares and the Panda. Oh my god. If if the Antares die right now to the Juno, it will be very hard. Okay. It's forcing the he's forcing Timbo to strip. I mean, you got to put that on. Oh, oh, oh my God. That just, oh my God, dude. That, oh, that's GG. Oh my God. <laughs> it's over. It's, it's over. He takes too long to kill. Dude, losing to Antares. Classic EU gameplay. Antares. Holy moly. <laughs> We got classic EU stuff, guys. No sweat, no sweat. All right, Timbo got the biggest comeback earlier against Livert, so I'm not I'm not selling the Timbo coin just yet. We are still here. Dude, Antares back to back proc is one of the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Come on, man. Come on. So what's going to be the first pick here? We got the Vanessa. So Timbo might go for Cigar. Chandra Cigar, maybe. What we got? We got Cigar and Zulian. Oh, can he come back from this, though? This is hard, guys. This is real hard. We got the more Chung Pung potentially or more very more Chung Pung here coming out from Pink Groin. So Timbo will need a speed lead here. Or oh, is he going full turn two like with a fire pill vanilla and and Shizuka maybe? I don't know. Or he can go Rakuni Shizuka. Pingroy probably gonna go for a Thessarian soon. Fire Pure Vanilla. He need a water unit here. He desperately need a water unit. He's also taking the Fangin. Pingroy rocking the anti Julian tech and an LD last pick. Works perfectly with the with the Chung Pung. 
Timbo needs some sort of. He needs to pick a Leo. He has to pick a Leo. He needs to ban that that Rocky and pick a Leo. He has to. Come on, Timbo. A Leo, please. A Leo will, will do so much work here. Come on, come on. No! Dude, that thing has no impact. Timbo! Come on! Dude, Leo is so fucking good. Right here. It nerfed the speed. It take away the squall. It, it, it's so annoying. He has to ban Rocky too. Oh, Camilla ban. All right, all right. I, I, I guess that worked. Somehow that Camilla got banned. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Can Pink Roy destroy? It really depends on the defense break. He got this first defense break. He got double the spare stun, but he missed the pure, fire, pure vanilla, which is kind of bad. Oh, he got the violent, bro. He got the... Dis oh, oh, it's over. He got two most important defense break. Timbo, thank you for your contribution. Pink Raw is now my dad. <laughs> it's over, guys. Dude, back to back violent proc from Pink Roy with the Chung Fung. Disgusting. Ah, <laughs> oh, GG. The Chung Fung viral was too strong, guys. Too strong. And that. I don't know why I picked Wind Panda right there. Wind Panda does nothing to like Chung Fung. And Shan is just like way too fucking good. G a G. Thank you, Timbo. Damn, I can't meet Timbo in Bangkok, bro. I want to meet either Timbo or Livert, and they're both gone now. <laughs> they are both gone now. What do you mean? Dude, Pink is going to win again. Pink is too good, bro. Bro, Pink Roy too good. Pink Roy something you like, bro. Pure skill too easy. Pink Roy is just clean, man. His draft is so standard, so good, so strong, clean. And then his LD was just perfectly. Suited for the draft style as well. It's just clean. All right. The final is going to happen very soon. I think we're gonna probably going to go for a break here. Before we go to the final. It's ending faster than I thought. I thought we we're going to be here for another like two hours. Who's winning? Pink Roy. As always. <laughs> As always. Who would have thought that? Pink Roy too strong. Way too strong. Lufia and Pink Roy. Dude, I think Pink Roy's gonna 3 0 Lufia. Who, who wanna bet? Guys, you guys think Pink Roy's gonna 3 0? It's, it's gonna 3 0. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, another code. Let's go. Alamison SWC 2023. Alamison, guys. All right, I'll wait for them to post the link to the iOS and I'll put them in the chat, okay? Are we going to the final? Are we going? Uh, look like they're going for a break. Yep, they are going for a break. Pink Roy final once again, boys. Once again. All right, I'm going to go for a short break as well. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys.
How about that? You got your more? Oh my god, that's crazy.
All right, I'm back. How's the break? We still got 10 more minutes. So we can go and do some of my lame RTA once. Oh, flat. Do you guys know another fun fact? I uh I did the I did this stage while talking to you guys on the stream. I mean I did the uh I, I finished this. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna continue with this one. What the hell is this? Immune to attack bar, dude. That is so inconvenient. Can we not do that, please? Can we be a normal human being and like not deal with that nonsense? I want to decrease their attack bar, bro. And then we're going with... Where are my Spectra? But this team has no healing, right? Which is kind of bad. Let me add a healer in there. Okay. Okay. Uh, room, room. I need a violent set here. Having this is so good. If there's none of this rune saving function, I would never do this anymore. But it's only good because I have this. Alrighty. You match with Pinky in Special League? Poor you. <laughs> Poor you, brother. Alright, I think we should... This one can be auto, right? I probably don't have to even try. I recently pulled Dark Devil Maiden and Dark Evil. Oh my, lucky you. Any tips on calm and where I can use them? Uh, Dark Evil is just a turn. It's like a Bastet, but like better. Faster. Cooler. Dark Devil Maiden, you probably want to wait for the balance patch. <laughs> She's like Jack of all trade, master of shit. So that's quite a problem. So that's the second code link I got for you guys right there. Someone with the more. So so happy. And the match will start in five minutes. So go grab your water. Go go grab your toilet. And you should have this one in the back. Thank God I didn't put any weird passive in here. I hate it when they put like weird passive unit in here. It's like crazy. Oh, I can stun. Oh my God, that is so good. I can randomly stun people. All right, that should settle the Annabelle. You can check the YouTube video. Uh, I like Dark Evil more because it's a very simple unit. You boost your unit and you get turn one with attack buff and you kill stuff so pretty straightforward unit that is uh, amazing with pretty much anything but the dark devil maiden is like huh. she's just very inconsistent at doing any real debuff and she's also not good at doing like good damage even if you build her damage but she can be fun you know she can be fun See what ranks is my wife account. My wife doesn't play. That'd be cool. But I, I'm glad she doesn't play. Imagine going to bed and your wife doing RTA next to you. Like, what could be more stressed than that? Like, stop, bro. <laughs> I play RTA the entire day. Imagine going to bed and your wife asks, Oh, sh uh, uh, how do you counter more again in RTA? I'm losing. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Okay. I don't want to deal with that shit. I'm, I'm in my bed now, okay? Can I push back? Thank you. Three. 
some glancing. Amazing. The Jemaya is so good in TOA Hell. It's crazy good. All right. I, I should kill Nikki because Nikki can cleanse, right? And I should win. No, no I think the spare more is probably better. I'm, I'm using Vio for like, for, for right now, but I think the spare is probably better. The, the extra stun is just like very helpful in general. Like, because my fastest despair set is on Heigang right now. That's why I'm not using a despair more. But the moment I get some some small upgrade with my auto despair rune, I will go back to despair more. I think despair is probably better. Violent's pretty fun though. Like, when you violent, you kill like fire monkey and stuff. It's pretty good. I'm sure that fire uh, Dark Devil Maiden is going to be buffed soon. Like, a small buff would make her amazing instantly. I'm pretty sure about that. Why Verat instead of Tyrone? Oh, because Verat was ruined and Tyrone wasn't ruined. So I'm just like, uh, I don't need I don't need Tyrone. I got slow debuff with Spectra anyway. So Tyrone is free to play. I use Tyrone a lot because it's free to play. And I can't tell you to just pull over Rad, right? But Tyrone is like different. Tyrone is, uh, but Tyrone is just as good. Nothing wrong with Tyrone. The Varad, which is convenient because I, I ruined Varad anyway. What the fuck? Oh my. Oh, increased critical damage. This is like a free, free star. It's just amazing. Immune to cooldown increasing effect. Oh, I don't have to care about this as well. I just kill her fast. Okay, no passive. I like that. This is like a free three star. Every time I see increased crit damage, it's so amazing. Because it's just... It means your run go faster. Stage 6? I can't remember, but... What was it again? Is it the mouse? I use Herney and Tomoe. And Lauren to keep the boss down. So I just spam Lauren on the boss. And Herney to Tomoe to, to uh, block the passive of the surrounding unit. And that's pretty much it. I think Chiu can be on Swift. Like a 200 speed Chiu is more than good enough for a lot of things. And Chiu is like a last pick unit. I would go Despair more if you have both more on Chiu. If you only have Chiu and not more, I'll probably go Despair Chiu. And run a lot Asher Chiu right there. But if you have both, then uh, Chiu can be on Swift and Despair can be on the more. Despair Chiu is pretty good though. It's pretty fun too. If you don't like the inconsistency of more, you will... You can run Despair Chiu. And that is totally fine as well. Now, the match going to start soon. I'm just uh, doing stuff while we wait. You have Chiu more Oliver. Damn, look at Chiu with all the speed leads, you little shit. <laughs> look at Chiu. Herney's good. Herney's amazing. Herney's underrated too, but not really underrated in high rank though. High rank player know that Herney is pretty good for the last pick. But anything below like uh, C2, C1, then Herney can be a very underrated unit. They don't ban it and they suffer. Which is great, right? You, we love it when the unit just work out of nowhere. What if Luffy just turn on gear 5 and like 3-0 ping roy? That'd be so funny, right? Because everyone, everyone is expecting Pink Roy to win. But somehow Luffy just pull a gear 5 and just destroy Pink Roy. That'd be so funny. Luffy is fucking like Shank right now. <laughs> He's so strong. It's crazy. Oh my god, they got the light dummy thing here. Oh, that thing is scary. Oh, but because of the crit damage, I killed the boss so fast, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. The increased crit damage is unfair. It's so good. Look at how much damage I'm doing on the boss. <laughs> Bro, that is dumb. That is dumb. 
<laughs> so easy. So easy, dude. All right, I maxed out. I can go further and beyond, but it's kind of meaningless. Unrecoverable. Ooh. Gonna use shield unit. Increase attack bar. Ooh, that is disgusting as well. But I, I'm, I'm maxed out. I can get the crystal, but who cares about that, right? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that shit. I'm done. Oh, I actually did TOA hell this, this rotation. I feel good. I f oh, 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 okay, okay. Ugh. Siege unit. Ugh. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I'll summon after the, uh, the thing. I'll summon after the thing. The code is here once again. What is the off stream? Huh? Man, it's so cool to get streamer to host the EU Cup. I wish I can host the final. That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be cool, guys. All right, let's get ready to see Gear 5 Luffy, okay? Before we get to the final, if you haven't hit the like button for the stream yet, what are you doing? Can you please hit the like button? Support the channel for absolutely zero dollar. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Offline meeting, bro. I'm not like a superstar or anything. You can meet me on stream, that's good enough. Mm. Alright, it's about to happen really, really soon here. Is Pinkroy Doffy? No, Pinkroy is like uh Pinkroy is uh the, the, the beast guy. What what is that? Kaido. <laughs> Pingra is is Shang fucking Goldie Roger level, okay? Pingra is at least Blackbeard. I hit the like button and immediately get an ad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yo, thanks, dude. I appreciate that, man. I pressed the ad button, but you are like the first person to complain about ad. Which means the ad was only served to you. That was kind of weird. All right. We got uh, Daddy Song Jin Wu and we got Luffy. Let's see who's going to win. Look at look at Pink Roy SBC. He's here every year. He's always at the world final, right? <laughs> Holy shit, he's always at the world final. Crazy player. Dude, Luffy give up? Oh my god, Luffy. Uh can I not <laughs> Can I not play? Guys? We don't have to do this, right? <laughs> like, can I give <laughs> Oh, Sash. Dude, Luffy is sitting in the seat of, of Timbo. And he's having issue. Bro, he lost, bro. Bro, Luffy sitting in the Timbo seat. Oh, he, he... Bro, he lost. It's over. It's the bad seat, bro. 
It's the seat with the bad RNG. It's over. GG, bro. I, it, he, he, he's done. <laughs> he's done. Dude, it's the seat. Dude, it's the same seat as Timbo. And the, the staff was talking to Timbo last time too. I noticed that. <laughs> oh my god. It's over, bro. Poor Luffy. He's done. Is the seed a bad RNG? It has to be. I lost all the prediction. Same. Same, bro. All right, guys, are we ready for the ultimate final of SWC Europe Cup between Pink Roy and Luffy? It is about to go down. It's going to be epic. We see a Tian Lang and we have a Han preband. Pink Roy getting the first pick here. Fully suspecting a Oliver first pick. No, he's actually locking in the Vanessa for most of his first pick here over the Oliver. Luffy is going to go for Sagara more. Pretty standard response here. Pinkroy can go for Ethna and Hey Gang here to deal with the strip gun from Luffy. Oh, he's switching up a little bit. Maybe not the Hey Gang here, but it's going to lock in the Hey Gang. Hey Gang is a very good pick right here against Luffy. So we might see a Bella and maybe Rakuni here. Probably have to take away the Rakuni from Pinkroy in this position. Rakuni works really well with Hey Gang. And also works really well with Ethna, giving Ethna many, many turns, many, many damage. So Bella Rakuni, potentially, for Luffy. And Ben the Shan is coming. Bella Rakuni. Bro, this seat is connected to my talking. <laughs> Pink Run is going to go for the Kitian Dasheng here, which can be countered by having a Juno. Both units get countered by Juno here, so Luffy can go for a Juno last pick. And ban out the Kitian Dasheng because the Juno is probably going to get banned. Oh, no, 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 no. They're disconnecting me with Luffy. No, don't disconnect me with Luffy. <laughs> no, they're taking my communication away. God damn it. I can't, I can't talk to Luffy anymore. Damn it. Let me talk to Luffy. <laughs> Another RNG boost for Pink Roy. God damn it. They are topping up Pink Roy RNG at this minute. Shit, his his Ethna is gonna violent proc on a swift bill. <laughs> they spotted the ear plug. God damn it, Luffy! Why you gotta fumble? They took away his headset. No, they took away they taking away Luffy headset. I can't talk to him. Shit, no coaching. Oh no, I can't coach Luffy. I'm Luffy Nami without a tit and the red long hair. Sag. Ah, gotta wait. <laughs> More waiting, Sag. Guys, just curious, who here know Chain Soldier Manga? Looking for a fellow cultural individual in the chat, okay? Mato Say Hey No Slave. Any, any enjoyer of the particular title that I'm talking about? They gonna bribe Luffy, Sag. Yes, sir. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Haven't saw it yet. Oh my, you you need to read the manga, bro. It's pretty good. Don't read it in public, though. Okay, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay. Also read the uh this this monthly manga. I can't remember what it called. Like it was number. 
like 76 86 whatever that was it's like uh, another kaiju kai yeah kaiju no six or something i can't remember what, what it was it's like a monthly chapter thing dude that, that shit was pretty good as well kaiju something kaiju no eight yeah yeah, yeah that one that one that, that, that one was pretty good too i found it randomly and it was like oh actually good the combat is great but it's monthly so it's like it's gonna finish when i'm fucking like 50 years old or something <laughs> oh yeah all right oh we got the julian last pick wait luffy's like sir he pick a chunk pong sir that <laughs> luffy's like sir that was not julian that was chunk pong <laughs> All right, we got Ong Yoki last pick here. <laughs> Sir, uh, that was a Chung Pong right there. What, what, what is the fucking light vampire doing over there? <laughs> Another pause, bro. Oh, my God. Another pause, Lamal. Wait, he locked in a Chung Pong, right? Was I wrong? Wait, let, let, let us check. Was it a Chung Pong that he locked in? Did he lock in? Oh, he didn't lock in a Chung Pong. It was... Oh, it was paused before he locked it in. So he could change it. Sneaky little bastard. <laughs> Sneaky little bastard. He didn't lock in a Chung Pong yet. There was like... Uh, the, the timer was still going. Like, oops. Gonna pick the Julian real quick. <laughs> Bro, just r return back in time. Yeah, he, he got that. The Wardo and he just picked the Juliet instead. Unbelievable. Pink Rogers the Wardo Luffy right there. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, he went to the future and then he came back and he changed the draft. Unbelievable. They're just loading more orange right there. Pink Pink Roy is like doing a quick dungeon run, get a legend rune, and like Oh, I upgrade my fastest swift unit. Got a quad speed. <laughs> he just went to a quick dungeon run right there. Yo, K. What? What are you doing? It's like midnight. And you never reply to my text, K. I'm sad now. How about you come to Bangkok instead, K? All right. How about you come over? It's not that expensive for you. You CEO of a hospital, huh? You can't come to Bangkok for a day? God, are we are we continuing anytime soon? Guys, K is a dentist in Malaysia. You can search up his dental clinic. I was there. A couple days ago. I mean, not a couple days. Like last month. So he can fix my teeth and insert many, many big and long equipment into my mouth. I am not kidding. That that stick was thick, okay? Into my mouth. Messing around with my mouth. And he used my photo to promote his clinic. Unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, he, he brought me for good Malay food as well. Bro, he got this like scanning machine. He can scan your teeth and make a 3D model. It was so advanced. I'm like, what the fuck? But the downside is that he got a stick like this thick. Like, you know, like it was pain, bro. It was pain. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the Ongyoki band. And we got the uh, Vanessa band. So Luffy get the first turn, maybe. But there's a Hey Gang, so that is like not not exactly first turn. So things might come in between, not gonna lie. All right, here we go, guys. That's actually what happened. He did stick a stick in my mouth to scan my mouth and teeth. <laughs> oh, that gave that gave the pushback. Big oh no stun right there. He didn't get full attack power because he missed crit on the uh on the on the rat. 
So maybe Bella is going to use this opportunity to kill the Ether. Big. He needs to reset the monkey. If he missed the monkey reset, he lose. He get the monkey. He get the Julian attack bar. Very important. So the monkey doesn't... Oh, double the spare stun though. That is bad. Oh my god, that is bad. The Julian is going to go ham and cheese on this Bella though. All right. He needs to kill something quickly. And he's going to try to go for the Julian. Destroy. Actually, a very good counter. Because he will now be constantly, like, making this Julian absorb HP. Oh my god, this monkey stun is on point. The Hay Gang Despair stun is on point as well. He, he needs to provoke this monkey. He cannot let this monkey stun anymore, I think. Big provoke. But somebody's going to go down to the Julian. And Bella's going to be the victim here if the Julian violent proc. No violent proc. No violent proc. Okay. This can be good for Luffy. This can be good. He might go. He needs to go for the monkey though. I will go for the monkey. Because the monkey have skill very, very soon. And no stun on the moor. Big AoE from the Luffy. Big AoE. Oh my god. Wait. He he can do it. He will kill the monkey and kill Hei Gang. Or... Oh. He won. Dude, Luffy got the first win. Luffy got the first win. Gear 5th on point. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, Pinky might not be winning. You know, Pinky's going to Bangkok, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? He's going to Bangkok. All right, we're going to round two. Let's see how many paws we're going to get today. <laughs> Let's see how many paws we're going to get. Okay. I think he need to ban Sean. Somebody has to pre-ban Pinky Sean. Another pause, boys. Another quick pause. Am I coming to Bangkok? Yes, I am. Any Bangkok gamer in the chat? I don't know what's with all the pause stuff. I thought. Wonder what's happening. Wonder what is happening. Can I be your plus one? Bro, I can't even bring my wife as a plus one. I'm paying for my wife to come though. So she can hang around, uh, have fun as well at Bangkok. I told him, bro, my, my flight ticket is like dirt cheap. Can I get a plus one? They're like, nah. <laughs> it's not even unfair, you know? They, my flight ticket is so cheap. It's crazy. Yeah, it's literally next door. My flight is like an hour. <laughs> it's so, so cheap. It's not even a joke. I look dashing today. Thank you. I can't wait to get a haircut tomorrow. I've been uh, waiting because the, the barber shop got renovated. So they, my usual, my usual haircut is every month, but now it's like two months. So it's like way too long and way too weird. I will, I told Calm to us that I want to stream in Bangkok in the world final. They said, no, you have to watch. And I'm like, but I want to stream. If you don't let me stream, I'm not coming. <laughs> They're like, no. And after like, you know, I love talking. They're like, okay, okay, we let you stream. You do whatever you want. And I'm like, yay, let's go. But then uh, I have to find a way to stream. And so far, the only way to stream in Bangkok is to uh to stream in the hotel but at least i asked the hotel if i can have like LAN cable and they said yes so hopefully we get a stream in bangkok in my hotel room with decent internet okay for the war final that that should be that might happen so i will sacrifice not watching the live event at the event hall and stay in my hotel and stream for y'all. 
Because when I when I watched the World Final last year, I was like, damn. The whole time, I was just thinking, I should be streaming right now. What am I doing? Why am I sitting in the corner watching like a pleb? That's not true. I should be streaming. So sad. So yeah, I tried to stream when uh, when when the war final happened. Even if it's in the hotel room, okay? If they just hire you to cast, this shouldn't happen. True. <laughs> then why go just stay home? You mean I'm not gonna go and meet Say Shizzle in real life? Of course I'm gonna go. Meet all these cool people. Have a drink, have dinner. That's the most important part. I don't wanna go and watch this. I wanna go and meet these guys and like, you know, have a chat, have dinner. Stream IRL outside the hall. Bruh. That's like shit audio and shit. Like, it's shit everything. <laughs> Phone stream at the event. Ew, that's like, oh, uh, bruh. Hotel stream, it is. I try to book, like, a, like a, a smaller, like, studio. Like, something that looked like this as well. They told me $100 per hour. I'm like, huh? <laughs> what? Fuck. So like, nah, never mind. <laughs> Dude, in Vietnam, there's so many like streaming room service that costs like $5 an hour. You get a room with dual, dual monitor, top line PC, microphone, green screen, $5 per hour. In Thailand, none. <laughs> Dude, Vietnam is the best. <laughs> Dude, you can get like a top tier stream room service for like $5. It's crazy. And you can order food. They'll bring like fucking instant noodle with fried egg to you. That's like the best thing as well. Bro, what are we doing? Why are we waiting? I thought, I, I thought the stream should end by now, but we're still here. I never text my mom. Hold up. Yeah, weed is legal in uh, in Thailand now. There's so many weed shops. But the last time I was there, it's like everywhere. Oh, let's go. We're back. Are we? This doesn't look like they were back. He looks very confused. Ping Roy is like, bro, you didn't boost my RNG, right? You didn't boost my RNG, right? You. <laughs> Counters paid for everything but the good internet connection. Do we know who are the influencers that are going to Bangkok? Uh, I know, but I can't say that on live stream. No? But, hey, you know who they are. The usual, you know? <laughs> but not Tyler. Oh, sad. I can't meet Tyler. No Raigeki. But you know the usual. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. YDCV, of course, right? <laughs> of course they're flying YDCV out for you, man. Crazy. Dude, I'm gonna hear the so cheap in Bangkok like every every two seconds. Like Bangkok to America is like literally free. It's negative money. <laughs> We're gonna go for dinner and it's like, no, oh my God, it's free. 
<laughs> Crazy. Is Island Grown gonna come? Right. If Island Grown posts like one video per month, maybe. <laughs> Bro, they already move on. Let them move on. They have already moved on from this game. Yeah. There's so many new good streamers and YouTubers for this game. They should fly those people out. Like Kramon. He's probably sleeping already. How about Clay Tano? Why are you still here? I wonder why. I love Summoner's War, of course, that's why. Dude, I hacking love Summoner's War. It's crazy. Yeah, like you know Juno, like up, smaller up and coming content creator that provide a lot of uh, good content for the community. They should be flow now. You know Juno posts like every day or something. Summoners are like a burden to you, bro. I love Summoners. Well, it's my favorite game of all time. Island suddenly disappear. What do you mean suddenly? <laughs> he loved Pokemon. He streamed Pokemon so much before he made the switch. You do, you don't watch him a lot, do you? That's why, that's why you think it's sudden. Bagel should be flown out for his farewell. Bro, they invite Bagel every time. I'm sure they have offered him business class before as well. You think they don't? <laughs> they, they literally beg him to come. You think? You think they don't invite him? They literally like, like, please come. We'll massage your feet. Like, bring you top tier food. Something like that. You know? <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Finally, the game is happening. Wow. Chi Wu. Oh, because Vanessa is pre banned. We got the Chi Wu. Interesting. Okay, I got a classic Tian Lang as well to cut the Han and the Moor. Pretty good counter pick right there. Come out from Pink Roy. But the entire team is being countered by Ducklers here. So you might have to slot a strong fire or water unit here. I wonder what would be. I wonder what would it be. It's going to be a Belio. A very good unit to cut in between unit like... Han and Bella also block the double fire last counter pick coming out from Lufia. Very good water unit slot right there coming out from Pink Roy. Let's see what Luffy's going to do. More LD coming out from Luffy. Very good unit against Tian Lang. Solid unit. And another LD coming out from Luffy. Attack buff. Oh, it's going to be a Tian Lang ban. He's having way too much attack bar gain unit. So last pick from Pink Roy. Something that can survive all this damage. And that's going to be Rika for the big AoE comeback. A very classic counter play coming out from Pingro as well. No immunity. Rika, here we go. So it's going to be a Rika ban. It's going to be the attack buff ban. And Pingro will get to keep the Tian Lang. But the Yoki is extremely effective against Pingro in this draft right here. So if Pingro can take out Yoki quickly, he needs to do so in the first turn. Let's see what happened. All right. Set up the uh, the damage. But can he get the defense break going? Can he get a violent proc? Can he go for the AOE? He get... Oh, imagine if he defense break first and follow up with that. Big damage on the Bella, though. Bella is in a lot of trouble right here. Here we go. Big defense break. No defense break on the Tian Lang. And this is going to be the moment. Get the attack bar on the entire team of Luffy. Luffy is in a lot of trouble here. Can this Ongyoki counter Pink Roy team? But he got reset, so he can't do the AoE. And the Han's going to go down as well. Nothing that Mora can do to contribute to the fight absolutely at all. So it has to be Ongyoki. But Ongyoki is not exactly a good solo unit because... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's GG. 
Dude, they took so long to pause, but the game is like 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, poor on Yoki. Unless you get a violent here. It's a small window for the comeback if you get a violent. Maybe. Maybe. He's setting up the defense break. No violent prop. And a GG. That's pretty much it. Tier lang pressure is just so much. He defense break. He does crazy damage. He AoE stun you. He nerf all your attack bar gain unit. Tian Lang is just absolutely insane. And Chiu Sagar. Sagar is just so crazy, huh? Sagar nerf your team like two turn because of the pushback and the provoke. Sagar is just absolutely busted. Way more consistent than Chong Pong. All right, got a Tianlang pre ban once again. The Han getting pre ban as well. Hopefully, no pause this time. First pick for Pink Roy. Probably gonna go for the Vanessa and into the Cigar. So, if I'm Luffy, I'm picking Hey Gang Cigar second pick to, to really steal Pink Roy draft if I'm Luffy right here. So, Hey Gang Cigar would be my option. But what will Luffy do? Who the fuck gonna know? <laughs> He's gonna go for more. And Cigar stealing the Cigar, but Pink Roy has the Hey Gang position. He doesn't have to go for Ethna this time. He can go for something different, but he's still gonna go for Ethna and Hey Gang as well. So Luffy will probably gonna go for Bella and Rakuni once again. Works pretty well against this duo and not easily counter. But is he gonna go for that though? He might switch it up for a Shizuka position, which is really good against the Hey Gang Ethna because they don't have cooldown reset. He's going to go for Oliver Bella, going for the double speed lead here. Pink Roy has the option to go for potentially Fire Peel Vanilla to counter Oliver and Cigar. He's going to go for Carno first, a Fire Unit to counter Oliver and Cigar. Potentially banning. Oh, going to go for Sonia instead. Might go for another speed lead here. Or go for a high base speed unit like an Escher. To lock in the turn one position. It's gonna go for a speed lane. That's gonna be Tablo. Actually, a fun team coming out from Pink Rock. A lot of damage pressure. So I think it's gonna be a Leo last pick here from Lufia. I don't know why, but EU player hate picking Leo for some reason. But Leo is just really, really solid here. It countered three or four units on the side of Pink Roy. And it's gonna be a great force ban. And that's gonna be a Leo last pick coming out from Lufia. So Leo's gonna get banned, Sonia's gonna get banned, Pink Roy's gonna hopefully turn a damage with the constant turn from the Ethna and the and the Tableau as well. But that is not gonna be very consistent. Here we go. Big damage already, but the more is gonna come between. Big despair stun coming out. Oh my god, that despair stun is huge. It blocked the Ethna damage by quite a lot here. So Ethna is going to go for the skill 3 on the Bella. Insane amount of damage on this Bella. And the Heigang need to despair stun. Big double dispersion for the Heigang as well. Especially blocking the Cigar from controlling the Ethna. And that is going to be extremely fatal. I think Pink Roy got that. It's over. The moment Cigar got, got, got despair stun, it's instantly over. Oh my god, dude. And, and right now, can, can he stop this... He need to stop this 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 Ethna from going crazy. He did reset the the the, the light thing, so it's not gonna be too crazy. Oh 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 no oh no the violent proc oh no. But th there's just no way. Like you can only control them for so long. Their single the 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 default attack is gonna do more than enough damage to kill the Oliver who's half dead already. Oh my god. Luffy needs to learn a way to how to counter Tian Lang. Or else he's in a lot of trouble in the next game as well. Here we go, guys. Can he keep this control going? But because there's no stun in this duo, anything that can violent proc will violent proc. And the default attack is doing a lot of damage on this unit as well. And there's a fire unit that is hard to control. Big despair stun from the Oliver though. And the Vanessa is not doing a whole lot of damage like how I thought. So another Despair Stun, but a big Violent Proc to save the Cigar right there. Gotta land the Provoke on the Ethna. Ethna is going down very, very soon here. The Oliver need to get this 
push back on the fire unit so they can kill the Ethna. That is the only way this Oliver can win. Gonna go for the the Tableau instead, but he needs to reset Vanessa. But with this pushback, it's not gonna be enough, and Vanessa will get skilled back. So he's gonna go straight into the Ethna potentially. Gonna go for the Ethna. Didn't get the attack bar as well. He's definitely gonna go down right now to the damage, and that is GG. Is Tian Lang passive? Violent proc every turn. Uh, G3 Tian Lang does hit different. They get feed, uh, pretty good diet, get listen to Mozart every day. Uh, free range, pasteurized, uh, non GMO Tian Lang as well. Pretty good stuff going on over there. Organic Tian Lang hit different from your lame C3 Tian Lang, of course. All right, game four. Will Pingra end this round with a Tian Lang pick or will it be different? Luffy need to ban the Sagara or, or the Chung Pung that goes right after this Tian Lang who's really, really strong. It's going to be the Kitian Dasheng ban. It's going to be a Vanessa ban. Luffy get the first pick. Will he steal at least the 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 the, 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 the cigar, the Chung Pung from Pink Roy? Because Mora is terrible against Pink Roy. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe you know what? That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Oh, I need to text my wife. Alright, what do we have here? He got the... Oh, he still go with the more Chung Pung. So Pingra can go for Tian Lang and potentially... Ethna? Oh, it's gonna go for Esha to get that turn one instead. Okay, and she's Zuka. Very interesting. So Pingra is actually going to go for a mid, for a flexible trap. He can be going turn one. He can be going turn two. Both are really, really good here. But Luffy can go for Han and the dark thing that he likes to go with for the turn one as well. Ben at the speed lead of the Asher. And he will get... Not bad. Not bad. Directly countering both the Cigar and the, the Shizuka here. So he can ban Sonia. And Pingra doesn't have a whole lot of damage turn one. Even though he might get turn one. But his damage control will fall off very quickly, so it's gonna be so it's gonna be the Veramos and the Sonia band. But how long can Pingroy keep the control? That's gonna be the biggest factor for this game. Luffy's gonna get control for sure, but Luffy can also violent proc, and Pingroy might miss some sort of control in between. Where's pink damage? Defense break into Asher, and that Chiu is G3 level stat, so. Holy, that stun though. That stun might hit different. Here comes the control once again. And cooldown reduction coming out from Shizuka. More control coming out from Shizuka. And with this amount of protection, the, the Ongyoki mana be doing a whole lot of work. Where is pink damage? Uh, I see that is a whole lot of damage right there. And that thing's going to die very, very soon. Where is pink damage? Oh, I think the Han's going to die right there. And that's pretty much it. And with the... Cooldown reduction from the Shizuka. The Sagar should have skill 3 back very, very soon here. And more damage coming out. And the Chengpeng is pretty much useless. The more already used his skill. So Water Ryu would not have any skill for a long time as well. Unless, no despair stun. And the Sagar can push back one more time. And I think that's pretty much it. More control coming out from the Sagar. And defense break will follow up after this as well. Defense break available, which means this Esher can finish off the... Or the Chiu can finish off the Ongyoki very soon. Where's pink damage? Oh, I think that's a dead unit again. And that is pretty much it. GG. GG. Wow. Clean draft, guys.
Absolutely clean draft. I don't know why Luffy is so insistent on going with like the the turn one team, but he's not going turn one anytime soon against Pinky. And Pink Royal once again the champion of the Europe Cup. Gee gee. Oh my. Wow. Look at him. Look at him once again. Another champion. Yeah, Pink Royal is just crazy, huh? Pink Royal is just crazy. All right, guys, I would love to stay with you guys for a bit longer, but I have to go and pick up my wife from the concert. It's uh, midnight, so I don't want her to wait for too long. So I'm going to pick her up from the concert area and I got to go there. So you guys you need to grab the code at the stream, official stream. Okay. All right, guys, have fun. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate y'all. Hope you guys enjoy the show today. We try our best without the stream audio. We're trying to keep it up, the energy for everybody. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys next time very, very soon. Have a good night. Have a good day over there, wherever you're at. And thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay? Bye-bye.